Hello fellow Liberians, this is Joseph Yumabuoka. It is time to be counted for the upcoming general election and I'm asking you to please make sure to register to vote. Every election is determined by the people who show up and vote. One of the penalties for refusing to participate in politics is that you end up being governed by people you did not elect. We must never forget the importance of making our vote count. We paid high price for this democracy as a people. Let us protect and defend it. Voting is the expression of our commitment to ourselves, our children, our welfare to this country, and our one world. Please listen out for the dates and the places and go and register to vote. The rescue mission is well on course. 
when you register and vote, you will think Liberia, love Liberia, and then build Liberia. Again, I say this is Ambassador Joseph Nimabwa. <laughs>
7th of April of the year 2023. Um, we'd like to say a pleasant welcome to all of, all of our listeners, followers. We'd like to say um, a pleasant welcome to Jerry Lumbe Mafi Pia, Daniel Sano, uh, Michelle Jupal, uh, Jerry Yima Yimpan, all the way there in South Korea, uh, Reverend Wendell Emo. Um, it's good to have you back, uh, Reverend. And of course, our own Darlington Collins. Um, today, uh, we'll look at a number of trending issues and then uh, we'll. Jerry, we'll test Jerry, Uno, Jerry Uno, bad ranking be easy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> blue, Jerry. <laughs> you gotta you gotta elevate your laptop in a way where it takes like a passport sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put it in a way where it makes you feel like you see everybody looking at passport size. You gotta get a, something put a laptop on it and it go up so that it sits. You gotta lower your heart, Jerry. Yeah. Oh no, no Jerry. You gotta, the gotta yes. go up, you gotta come down. We don't wanna see your jeans if you may. We wanna see your pants, we don't wanna see your neck up here like a no, we don't want to see like like a passport size picture. <laughs> no on the chair, Jerry. I think the guy like goes stop under here, right? Yeah, Jerry. I, I will show you something you need to buy in Korea that you can put the out of your phone or your laptop on. It gives you elevation. It's better that way. Um, but it's good to have all of you, here, uh, Jerry, um, Pastor Mo, Darlington, Jerry, uh, Pia. Daniel and uh, Jupoy. You see, most of us wearing our t-shirts. Uh, the other people will get their own shortly. Uh, it's, it's, it's our Friday outfit. Outfit going forward. Uh, I've been in a data with requests for t-shirts. When Patrick Hunter and Delon say, I got t shirt Everybody calling for all or sending me messages. Um, we didn't do a lot of these t-shirts. We just did a few. Um, it's not, they are on sale. Um, once you... You, you want one just putting the order I can have our um our behind the scene uh, uh, uh business uh uh tacoon uh, to uh do it for us and uh and, and, and have it built to you. Um and let me say today we'll, we'll look at trending issues and then maybe just maybe we'll do a poll because we're getting closer to the point where Ambassador Boaga is about to make a decision on who will be his running mate. We're getting closer to that. Uh, maybe we'll run a poll. And, and, we'll and what, before you read your decision on pool, make sure that Radio uh, Bezo uh, Radio Tuba, oh, you're being, yeah, you're being before Radio Daniel Gantra, before Daniel can cry like when you're crying the other day, before the other pool were accusing all of being biased, before they can't accuse her again. So just make sure that Radio Tuba, oh, Radio Gantra. Yeah, Radio D15, Tuba, with no premium, is on. We know Radio Gompa is on, but just make sure D15 and, and Dubai. Everybody on, let's go. Yeah, go so, on. so, we're so, really, so we're really at that time of the year when Ibasa Baga will be making his, <laughs> his, his, his pick for, for VP. <laughs> that is the way on our station as it will be on. We don't want you to feel that we're doing something <laughs> incorrect. I reserve all comments on that matter. <laughs> uh huh. Because you know, the reason why we don't announce the pools beforehand is we don't want people to go prepare, put people in queue. Yeah, have the, the reason why we want to the audience to share the show, Steven. Yeah, and my people, yeah, we'll come to that. And, 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 and if you don't Daniel, share, I'll call you. Daniel, Daniel I'll ask your question, you don't answer, you're talking about sharing show. Is is Radio Dupa on? Is D15 on? Well, I haven't inquired yet, but. Uh, Please it's, inquire. It's, 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 it's Radio. Uh -uh. Contour, yeah, it's 20 bucks, bro. It's 20 bucks, Contour. It's 20 bucks for the t-shirt. So if you live in the US, it's 20 bucks plus uh, maybe $9, $10 for shipping. Uh, you should be able to get it in a in, in few days. Um, I ship, we ship some to a lot of people that were able to get theirs. So uh, I see Chokong buy, I see share. Talk. But it's good, you know, to have you. Let me let me say uh, thanks to all of our radio stations, Bourgeois Radio FM 98.1. In Montserrado, Premium FM 98.1 in Bangapong County, Radio Dupa FM 89.1 in Grand Basso County, Voice of Lofa FM 99.3 in Lofa County, Radio Joy Africa FM 97.5 in Magibi, and of course, Voice of Compa FM 106.5 all the way there in Compa City, uh, Nimba County. Uh, today is Friday, the 7th of April of, of April 2023. Um, if you share the show, um, I will I will recognize those who 
at least try to recognize those who share the show. If you if you share, just say I have shared. Still, I, so got, that, still, still I got one suggestion. Yeah. Uh, I think to, for today, if we do pull in, because you're not too sure, yeah, you said maybe, but if we should if we should do it, I want you to add a second component, just test something. And that second component will be, one, you will say who you prefer JMB picking, and two, tell us whether if your preferred choice is not taking, you remain committed to JMB. Yeah. yeah let's yeah. test something. Yeah. Let's see what are people behind JMB because of what they believe in him or they're there because of their interest. Let's test that one too with the people. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. So, guys, I want everybody to, uh, uh, Jerry, uh, Pastor Mo, you grab your pen. Uh, Darlington, you grab your pen. Tonight is poll is poll night. Uh, uh, grab a pen, paper, and let's let's run some polls here and see. Uh, yeah, Pia, very good question. So, you, you got two questions to answer. Who, who should JMB pick as his running mate? And whether if your preferred choice is not Selected, will you stay with JMB? That, that that's a good time. We just want to know. So we got two questions that when you call, you will answer. Um, let me recognize um, those of our students in class. I see Copa Passaway is there. Uh, it says I'm watching. Present, uh, Common Melaton Emmanuel Fa, uh, Prince Prince, Felicia David Fobe Warite, Tanu Colibi, uh, Aaron Siafa, Thompson Tonwa, uh, uh, uh Fala Taylor, Emma Hammer. Uh, Abraham Sano, Jonathan Banks, Doris Gonganu, Joshua Russell, uh, James Harris, Augustine Napla, Israel Amara, Bradley Brown, Tom Benson, uh, Charles Ethel Smith, Manny Pele Small, uh, Mavia Dukli, Samuel G. Salabasa, Gloria Tucker, uh, Christopher S.G. Davis, Joe Moba, Echo Mo Banji, Mapu Hall, uh, Titi Ure, um, John Okapie, is always watching from Philadelphia, Jackson. Jackson Zuo, Cynthia Vambram, Colindios, Achi, Kamara Arsenal, M. Seku, Sinian, George Fumba, Melvin J. Melvin Tamalamin, Ramsey Bayou, uh, Nathaniel Topa, Extronic <laughs> Legend, the great legend, uh, Julius Lequier, Jerry Ferguson, John Bobo, Tom, Tim Brown, D. Nelson Zion, Sarah Myers. Um, Sarah Willie Jackson, President Abraham Cannon, D. Uh, Nakia Moses Solomon, D. Um, Abraham Cannon, Bill Sharif, Bobby P. Body. Uh, Abraham, true, like crazy. Is it Abraham? <laughs> yeah, he's still in my email. Well, I'm watching today. Thanks. Welcome, Bobby P. Body. It's good to have you. Uh, Bill Cousin, uh, Edwin Gifford, Abraham Zion, uh, Raf, Manson, Bowman, uh, Winston, Ford, Unapologetic, Eva. Unapologetically evil, Timothy Kennedy, Galo Galo, uh, Edwin Gifler, uh, David Lavala, Sarah Willie Jackson, she's watching from South Dakota, Lorena Cotter, President, uh, she says, President, uh, Luscious Harris, Charles Russell, Benjamin Wehe, um, uh, Joseph Wakai, Ibrahim Fofana, Timu Kumuni, Darlington Massacre, uh, uh, Manjatu, uh, Sato Bima. Uh, November King, D. Clay, Botokui. Botokui, I'll call you after the show, bro. I'll, I'll promise to call you. Marion Bridges, David Swazo, Moba, Ibrahim, Harikie, Isaac, Luopie, uh, Arthur Conan, Chinin Melasie, Isaac, uh, Eugene Harris, and all you wonderful people are watching us on this uh, Good Friday in, 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 in across the world. Um, if you're a Christian, Good Friday is symbolic of the day that... Uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was um, was crucified, uh, sold by uh, Judas Ascara for thirty pieces of silver, and crucified um, on this day. Uh, so it, it's a it's a very sacred day for many of us who are of the Christian faith. I'd like to say it's good to have you all join us, and uh, we're here today. So we'll talk about trending issue. We'll go across the room. We'll talk about trending issue, and then we'll run some polls. We'll look at two key questions. The first question is, who do you prefer as a running mate to Ambassador Joseph Buaka? And the second question, the B to that would be, you know, the A to that is, will you, what will you do in case your preferred choice is not selected? We want to know, we want to gauge our people's opinion. And, and, and guys, please pay attention also to where the calls are coming from. I uh, want one person to, to just take note on the counties, the places the calls are coming from so that we can have an idea about the geography of the course and how and how um our people are thinking across different uh, uh um, areas across liberia 
So we not without much ado, we we'll begin the conversation with what's trending. Can we go across the um, before we before we start the conversation, let me just appeal to our people once more, as I normally do. That in my mind, today's edition is uh, very critical. It's very important. Um, still waiting for Daniel to know what the stations are on. The stations are our stronger force because when the stations on, hundreds of thousands of people are listening. But at the same time. Those who rely purely on social media, we should be able to help to spread a message to them. And we have said continuously that every time we come here, we want one case share. If we go more than eight, perfect. Uh, you are trying with only 20 minutes, I see 430 shares, meaning you can make it. So push, keep pushing, share the show. Let's read the, the yeah, let's read the one K. We can read the one K. Just keep pushing. I see, I see Representative Roger Thomas say he's watching from Saturday. Re Re Honorable, you need a fun time to come on here so we can talk about your district. I know you 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 going for re-election in 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 in, in Lima County there. So uh, Roger, once you have the time, just send me a message. Um, we can work on something for you to come on here. Yeah, we, need to have the, we need to have the Honorable uh, Roger Doma on the show because I am told that that is the same uh, district. Uh, Brotherability is contesting, so yeah, yeah. Musa is running that the so. there. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, good. So, so it's good. Roger, someone, you, Roger, just send me a message. Uh, we can find time for you to come on so we can have this conversation. Um, but it's good to have you join us and everybody else yeah, is man. watching. They say they say the people say FM is not it, they say D50 is off. Well, we'll we'll, we'll see. Uh, but let's 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 pick up from there. Uh, oh, yeah, my man, yeah, my man, Dana Sano, yeah, calling you. <laughs> yeah, so 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 it, it's good to know that the, that? Honorable, the, that the honorable is watching. Uh, I haven't interacted with the honorable much, but I, one thing I know is that he has my support. Once it is he and Mr. Bellete, he has my unflinching support. So it's good that he's watching. Y'all share the show. Uh, let reach the, the the one K share so that people can follow, and then the radio station will do the rest. So that's it. That's why I feel. Share the show. Share the show. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, 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 Representative Toma, you know, of course, we, we you are a candidate for, for, for that district in, in, in Limba. But it's good also for us to just have you join us so that we can talk to our people uh, and ask you some questions. So, guys, uh, let's begin. Two minutes each across what's trending. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and there's some interesting trending issues. I'll see how many of you pay attention to the news. Uh, uh, in the last few days, uh, uh, so let's go. I'll go with Jerry, Remy Moore, Darlington, Jupo, Daniel, and Pia. So I'm going just like that. So two minutes, two three minutes each, guys. Uh, Jerry, I'll this time around pay attention to the time. I don't want to be interrupting you and say time, time. Pay attention to the time, Jerry. You're starting at 22, so about 25, 23, so about 26. You should be done. Thanks, okay. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be time conscious. Uh, my training issue is uh, recently at Farmington, uh, George Weir uh, made a statement concerning uh, the rampant spread of militancy across the country in politics. So I was like wondering, actually, is this uh, uh, George we had said talking or somebody talking in him? Because right under your watchful eyes, all of the political violence across the country uh, has been perpetrated by CDC. And he, George we had, have spoken on many different, you know, puppets while he issued threats to people Give a room to violence, saying that old. Oh, I mean, anybody who would insult me will not walk freely in the street. And also, it's a shared deception and hypocrisy because you can get your partisan and you yourself sanctioning some of these and you know, violence being meted against peaceful citizens. And you know, besides the district change situation, there are several others. The July twenty sixth. And, you know, attack on peaceful students. All these things, George, we are seeing there. He was in this country when Akara took talks at the University of Liberia, and, you know, to attack peaceful students. The president did not see that. Up to present, he claimed to be a Democrat, 
student activities are not clear as to what are the two political activities and stuff. The president cannot speak to that. How can you say militancy? You are here, your chairman always and me. He established this kind of low fat and know something. That's how you came when I say, okay, when you want to do that, we'll do our own. The president, you know, since when? So, I mean, I think the president is the biggest mistake we ever experienced. You know, when in a class where you have the door student, I mean, no, I have not seen door student being president of a class prefect. And maybe you can tell me or uh, article, but this is our case. We have one of the inept individual presiding over our country. So this is what we have. But all we need to do to change all of these is to register to vote so that we can be able to um, take the decision on October 10. So thank you very much. Uh, that thank was you. my issue, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Jerry. Uh, Pastor Mo. Yeah, thank you. I, I want to thank God for his for today and each and every one of us at his own. Uh, Pastor Mo, you want to talk a little louder? I'm not hearing you. I want to thank God for each and every one of us. Can you all hear me now? Yeah, for each and every one of us, today is a beautiful Good Friday. Today is the day our Lord and Savior has been crucified. I want to say Happy Easter to all of our viewers and those that is in Radio Land. You know, I have been watching uh, the class reload over the past weeks and days. I have not been on. And I've been, I'm so sorry our sister is not on today. And, uh, and I have found on most of a comment that George Weir is going to rig the election. And I want to say this to the many Liberians back home and abroad. George Weir is not main enough to rig the elections. And the reason why George Weir is not main enough to rig the elections is because he know he hasn't done anything to induce the Liberians to vote for him. Many of the Liberians that I've spoken with behind the scene, and those that, that text me and ask me for assistance some way or the others, they all complain that the country is hard. They all, they cannot protest. Why they cannot protest? It is because they have reached to the stage their hope is in October 10 to go and vote this corrupt and this inept government of authority. This government that Add enough hardship and suffering on our people. So I don't like to, 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 to listen to people when they say, George, we are, we rigged the election. What grounds is George, we are sitting on to rig the election come October 10? We need to erase that and start, and start giving it oxygen to breathe. Because if we do feed it, it's what is going to happen. And let us not make him feel that he can rig the election and he get away. He will not. He will not. His self is thinking on after this election, where will he spend the rest of his life? That is what's on his mind. So let us be positive and let us focus on positive things and encourage our people to vote JMB and whosoever he's going to take as the next person to run along with him because our nation needs change. My next story have to do with, with, with the uh, 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 Cleo Musu death up to now up to now the autopsy has been done the body have not been turned over to the family till now the body have not been turned over to the family this girl died february 22nd is one month and two weeks gone the body have now been delivered to the family for burial what is going on we need to know what is going on why the government have not yet turned this body over my last thing I have to do with, I have seen over the weeks, uh, people have shared with me that, that uh, civil servants are protesting for low pay and for increase in the pay and, 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 and demanding the pay. And I see that when people are demanding the wages in which they are worked, they have worked for over the month, the government sent police to disperse them. Is that the way of negotiation? Is that how you negotiate? with people who have worked and they cannot take pay, that is wrong. And this is why this government cannot be re-elected. This is why we are saying these people came to, to, to steal, kill, and destroy our nation. 
Why have Liberia gone since 2017? I'll start there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Mo. Um, Talento. Well, thank you, Stephen. Well, so over the last, um, over three or four hours ago, Senator Prince Johnson spoke to the press where he refuted allegations that has been reported in the New Dawn newspaper that he's contemplating on going back to the CDC. The senator, I mean, told members of the press that that's not something that he's considering. He had never been in any conversation and going back to the CDC and that he's actively in conversation with the opposition community, you know, specifically the Unity Party. And, and, he is, and they are exploring all options, you know, especially with the... Uh, with their NIMBA Accord, and he's, he's, he's focused on that. He don't have time for, you know, going back to the CDC. That is what the Labrain media is reporting, contrary to what um, Senator Prince Johnson have said. On a soft note, uh, the chairman, I think the political leader of the Rainbow Alliance, uh, Reginald Gurish, have alarmed over threats, uh, uh, comments made by President Weir at the Farmington Declaration. You know, where President Weir saw him, you know, the president had this tendency of, of being uh, recklessly fussy. He sees his political opponent and, and try to pick him there. Gurish, my man, you joined Democrats tonight. At least one other time where you went to my place and stole my car and, and you bring my house. So he, when he made that statement, according to Mr. Gurish, you know, he walked away from the president not to, you know, pay much attention. And the president followed him again. My man Gurish got a rogue and, and so forth. So, you know, considerably, Mr. Weir could just be talking loosely, but we are have his fanatics, you know, these boys, especially when the president accused member of the public to say uh, they are, they, 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 they stole from him, they stole his car, they, they burned his, 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 his house, you know, that, that is, is provocation. So one could also argue, especially in the, in the, in the uh, Farmington Declaration, I think page six, uh, count three, I still to be correct. Either three or six, one of the two, talk about political leaders refraining from, you know, loose comments or comments that could possibly spark tension, you know, or or, or cause commotion. So Gurish is also saying that he's suing for $2.7 million. So I, I don't know what Mr. Gurish is depending on because the president of the Republic of Labra cannot be sued. You know, uh, maybe he's thinking about he can only he said he was going to file a petition to the court, but when you file a petition to the court, especially where you say the president made comments about you in the root of summons, the, the court will not wait until Mr. We are his former president to invite him. So I don't know where that is going to go. It might just be another uh, you know uh, empty political talk, but the president needs to refrain from making these kinds of comments. You are president of the country. There should be something about how you conduct yourself at national function. You can just go down there and, and kind of check up playing comments, you know. And, and I'll say this, uh, uh, Stephen, just, just to close up, a certain minister in the government, you know, over when the guys took over in six months, one of them met me in Philadelphia at an all Iberian program, a town hall. The man said, Mama died, like, you don't want to criticize him or wrong. We have power now, as if I have gone to his house to ask for food. That is how they think, and that's how their, their slave master think. When they meet their people, they in the brain balance, they want to bullshit on you to show that we are around, we, we are in charge. So this president should refrain from making comments. He's a president of the nation. You know, Reginald Gurish is a businessman. I mean, he's a he's a politician. I know and Mr. Gurich used to be with the with the chewing party at some point in time. I don't know how, you know, did the, the chewing party uh, so met the rainbow now. So, so the, the rainbow into the rainbow the, the rainbow alliance, you know. I and mean, I know Gurich used to be with the chewing party. Thank you. Thank you. Chupo. Yes, uh, trying to think from my end tonight, uh, dozens of students on the band, uh, tertiary students in Bonn County had gathered today uh, to await the arrival of a rescue one ambassador of Joseph Newman Boakite. Because majority of them said uh, they are on the scholarship or the purported scholarship scheme of the central minister of state Nathan McGinnis says since then there have been no I mean no account of how ready they go into school. Uh, some of them are, are actually putting means they put out of school because I mean their 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 fees are not paid and majority of them 
actually I may have come together to await the arrival of Joseph Newman Boakite in Bonk County. And I'm told the meeting to, I mean, in the county will actually bring together diplomats and high ranking officials to discuss some national issues. And secondly, from my end tonight, um, the, the students of Bon County, through the Bon County Student Union Bonsu, actually calling on the district education officer and the Ministry of Education by extension to actually bring to fruition promise that was made to them regarding a modern library construction in district number three, Bon County, because according to the head of Bonsu, one Mitchell Johnson, he said, uh, about 100 plus thousand United States dollars was given to the district lawmaker for that particular project. But up to now, the project is at a standstill. Nothing uh, like regarding the project. And they said they have actually communicated with him on several occasions, but he has deliberately refused to answer them to, I mean, give them any account of their money. So they want the Ministry of Education to intervene in making sure that the modern laboratory is actually constructed in Bond County to help them follow their research. And lastly, to close, uh, the, the need for the passage of the job law, making it a non believable offense, has actually been stressed by citizens in Bond County because according to them, uh, the in November of 2022, uh, the Liberian Senate voted to pass the draft law. And according to the citizens, it has only level of the signing of the law into handbill, where in I mean, certain category of people will, will, will be given a billable offense and certain category of people will be given a non-billable offense. Because according to the citizens in Bonk, uh, Bonk County, if not the hotspot for the, the high intake of narcotic substances, then it might probably be the second, where in, usually by seven in the evening, you normally can plow the Banga Mi route, specifically the metalist compound route. It's either you are hijacked, you are molested for your own properties, and just so whatever. So the citizens want the job law to be passed, making it a non billable offense. So that's the Trinity Institute for my internet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chupo. Uh, Daniel. You're muted, Daniel. We happy to be back here. And I, I was thinking as to whether everybody who bear the, the name opposition is actually committed to removing we are from, from power. Because I say so because regardless of the political differences that we have in the opposition, our single goal is to ensure that Mr. Weir is ousted from office by October this year. And uh, to do so, the first thing that is needed is to encourage Liberians to turn out and register to vote. Stephen, I was bewildered. I don't know what political calculus is Mr. Cummings using that he are going to the court to sue the election commission for not using some census report that has not even been submitted to the national legislature. You know, a political leader of Mr. Cummings standing, I mean, and this is not meant to, to denigrate him, should be on top of information, should be properly guarded. What Mr. Komi has done is one, to simply tell his supporters, don't go register to vote. Because the ANC has sued the election commission to halt the ongoing voter registration process. I don't know how come today I saw him surface at one polling place and he said he had gone to register. But the damage has already been done. Because as far as his supporters are concerned, the ANC is in court. 
The ANC is challenging the Elections Commission, asking the court to halt the ongoing exercise. So therefore, they're not going to register to vote. And if you succeed in not having your people who live in five major counties to turn out to register, particularly Mosserado County. Mr. Cummings got a good number of votes in Mosserado County in 2017. So what he has effectively done is to demoralize his supporters, discourage them from turning out to vote. And then the deception there is for him to secretly go to one place where they say he's going to register. I don't know what he, I don't, I don't know what was he thinking. I know for a fact that my friend Martin Kula, who is one of the proponents of this lawsuit, is contesting in District of Moses. And given the fact that he has done very little work to get elected, he's hoping that NEC can use the census report, read the market this way, and then he can fall in another zone where he can be lucky to win. And Lawrence Swa, who was miserably defeated in Nima in district number one, also hoping the same thing. So they encourage the coming to, to go to court. Apparently, they don't know that before the censor report can even be used by the election commission, it has to be submitted to the election nature because it is the election nature that caused the censor to be held. The final report of the censor has not been submitted to the election nature. What Legit submitted was a preliminary report. The final report has not been submitted. The legislature has made no determination of the final report. It has not been submitted. So how can you ask the NEC to, 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 to use an instrument whose final outcome has not been, final, I mean, accepted by the legislature to do voter, I mean, boundary demarcation? So let me let Mr. Cummings. And the embarrassment has already been created. They have discouraged thousands of their supporters not to turn out the register to vote. The decision was ill political. I don't know who ever advised Mr. Cummings. They didn't, they didn't help him. Very ill political. And then for him to secretly turn out to the, the one place that he's going to register to vote. I mean, political leader should know what is at stake. What is at stake is bigger than anybody's personal interest. We have a country that we need to take away from the against us. The plague of locusts that are destroying everything in their path. Look at George Weir. He goes to a national event where dignitaries, foreign dignitaries are seated. And you see a political leader of another party. And look what he said. You're enjoying democracy now, eh? Go out of the day that I stole my car and this and that. The president of the country. And this brings me to the conclusion. That Michelle Obama was right. The presidency doesn't change you. It only brings out the true quality of that person. And from the day Mr. We have became president, I mean, I, I mean, I have never doubted his limitation. I have never doubted his ability to be very timid. But the proportion at which he has exhibited it is very scary. If at some point in time, Mr. We are not saying Stephen Johnson came to my house, I gave him a pair of shoes. You were telling somebody, say, oh, when your man died, I paid the funeral fee money. Absolute petitness. So people should know what is at stake. The, the whole nation future is stuck in neutral on a job we are. And we're trying to get this country working. And somebody is filing Booker's lawsuit to the court to distract and discourage people from turning out to vote. I think it was a wrong move by ANC. It was a wrong move. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, um, yeah, and I think it's it's it's. I, I I like to to state here. I don't I, I don't find it sexy. I will use I will choose to use that word for you for you to be at neck at, at the Supreme Court trying to put a halt to the voter registration exercise and at the same time going to register. Uh, 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 I don't find that, uh, I don't know the rationale behind it, that you on one hand calling for the process to be halted because you believe, Daniel, can you mute a second, uh, because you believe that uh, the process is not following the due process, meaning that the the demarcation hasn't taken place and all of the the preambles to the elections uh, um, they've not been met, but at the same time, I find it very interesting that you're going to register in the same process that you want the Supreme Court to put a hold 
So we'll pay attention to that. And thank you for flagging that. Let me go to, to Pia. Pia, what's trending from your end? Uh, quickly, you know, darling, Tom, to your point that you made of a we are. The thing is, we are, I've never recognized himself as a president. You know, and sometimes the things that he can do, when you think about it, you want to ask yourself questions. So you say those things to Goodrich based on his affiliation with Taylor, but you don't have problem that Taylor's wife was chosen by you as vice president. You don't have problem that many of Taylor's officials are high ranking officials in your government. You don't have problem with the fact that your party is in a collaboration with Taylor's party, but you can see a good reach and forget about the fact that you are president, bring yourself down and tend to molest the man in a public place that you've gone in your capacity as president of the Republic of Liberia. The only thing I can say to him, is not a surprise to me because you all who believe in him, I really want thing, those things are surprising. He can do worse than that. But he just ought to know that the same way after he leaves office, but then you saw family will see him in the street and molest him. That the same way when he leaves office, our Peter gifted their family will see him in the street and molest him. That the same way when he leaves office, all the people that have been killed during his administration will see him in the street and molest him. But of more interest is the fact that people will see him in the street like that and call him Roe Roe. And those supers will not wait for him to go to LU campus. They will organize themselves where everywhere they see him. They were made laws behind like they doing the C force and others. So, you know, he has set the condition. And people will follow after he leaves office. A good thing you're doing. You know, this man is just a shame and an embarrassment to our country. You go to Farmington to sound at a call to talk about how peaceful our election should be. But somebody who you've invited to sound onto the accord is being harassed by you in the public because of his affiliation with Taylor. But Taylor, well, that your vice president. Taylor officials are all scattered in your government. Taylor party is in collaboration with you. And you think that somebody who's thinking, that's why the country is why it is. You got, you got a man who run the country who can't think. And then with the communist team that Daniel just raised, you know, the reason why when these processes are taking place, political leaders go first, is because it motivates their followers. With all the complaints, we've been complaining, the voter registration process is cumbersome, you know, it's slow, it's frustrating, people are disappointed, they're not interested. It's only the action of the political leaders that could motivate people to show up. So a coming date today, that Daniel saying, and this first round ends on the 9th, then coming is doing so two days away from the end of the process in those six counties. I see that caused the damage already that Daniel said. Surely he has done this thing ever since so that if people can follow. What they didn't even know the difference between voter registration and demarcation. You got a problem, you say neck is not using the data from the sensor for demarcation. The fact that they, the fact that there's no official sensor result is one thing to talk about. Because whatever neck draw was, I mean whatever major draw was preliminary, we're still waiting for the official yes income. But yet you believe it's going to be used for demarcation. I agree that you were right. What that demarcation that is supposed to be used for that to do with people registering to vote? Even if they're supposed to demarcate, and after the voter registration, they get the numbers, everything, then they say, okay, we use a statistic to demarcate. But on account of that, you discourage people from taking part in the elections? Too small our leaders, you're right, they don't know what they are doing. And quickly, I see that. Uh, Moses Owen's grandmother has done what I thought the government would have done. 
She has said she's sorry for the action of her son. She apologized to the, the Koreans. And then she made an appeal that she wants her son to serve her, I think it was his jail term in Liberia. That's exactly what we said on the show here the other day. That's exactly what I said should have been the initial response of the government. Acknowledge the ruling of the court. Express remorse and regret. And then go beyond the scene diplomatically and see whether something else could be done. Other than that, they only came to the public and said, well, we talked to our lawyer to, to figure out the options that are available for, to us. So as I read the mother something, Mo, Mo Ali posted something that reminded me to an episode that took place in 2017. So in 2017, Moses claimed that he was a member of the Unity Party. And close to the election, what he was trying to do as a person who claimed that he was a member of the UP was to cause chaos in the ranks and file of UP. He had called me personally. He called Mary Bro, he called a number of persons that uh, Patrick Honor and others, others are giving the platform on ERBC to Weber Pay, and that Weber Pay was on the bumper show insulting President Selly. What you didn't know is that the version of the show he was talking about, I was listening to the show at that time. Mary Bro, unfortunately, was not listening. But took the message from Moses Owen Brown and called the bumper show and created a scene, calling everybody else, calling Mo Ali, calling this person again, even called President Selim herself. The truth of the matter is, this guy who was claiming to be a United Party who was trying to cause this confusion was a known sedition. You already had a sedition at the time. But you're trying to cause chaos in the UP. And people like Mary Brown and other fell to that. And if Kia was not taking, Ellen would have fired Patrick, uh, Honor, and other people on that day, or a few days thereafter. Just because somebody who is not a member of your party and play on you, Mary Bro, who at the time was committed to President Selly in the party, to throw a kind of monkey wrench in the process and have some of your strongest people who are leading you towards the election fired. And when I read that show, I, 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 was, I was reading the comments on it. And I don't, have to, I don't have to say what people were saying or not. What they were saying, they're very revenue, they are the one who, who are the right people to talk about that because they will be telling you about the Bible. Who say, whatever you sow, you shall reap. And many people believe that uh, the comrade was reaping what he sowed. Maybe it's true. And let me close by saying, for those of us who are Christians, uh, we should know that this edition of the show we own is taking place on Good Friday. Good Friday is the time when we believe that we got redemption, we got salvation, because it was when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was crucified to give us freedom, to give us salvation, to give us redemption. He says seven things while he was on the cross before he gave up his ghost. If you are a Christian, remember that on this day. And the clash you had. My God and my God, why have thou forsaken me? Father, forgive them for the know not what they are doing. Today, you will be with me in paradise. You are speaking to, to one of the guys crucified along with him, who was like another person through insult at him and the other one said, oh, you must have listened to me, he do nothing. The mother came, woman, behold that son, son, behold that mother. I am testing. It is finished. Into your hands, Father, I commit my spirit. These were the seven words he said on the cross before he gave up the ghost. And for me as a Christian, on this Good Friday, I remember those words. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, thank you, Pia. The 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 allergy gave, <laughs> gave my eyes hard and the issue, the pulling falling down here yeah, a lot. So, um, but anyways, so yeah, guys, I think those were those were very valid points. And 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 Darlington, thanks for bringing that up. And one of the issues I thought was was trending. Um, when the president goes to an official function, 
and behave in such reckless and irresponsible manner is, is worrisome. Uh, you, you go to a program, you, you just sign an agreement where you stated that uh, you 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 committed to peace, you committed to upholding the the rule of law and peace ahead of the October polls. And then right after you've given a big speech, you've signed the pledge, right within the same corridor you're there telling somebody, say, you enjoy democracy now, calling him a rogue and other things. Look, and, and I will imagine if 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 Reginald had said, but you're you're a criminal yourself, you're stealing a labyrinth pool of money. Imagine what would have been the reaction, maybe of the of the state security and 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 and, and those who were there, because it was the president who provoked that 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 conversation. And 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 and, and, and I think Reginald gave very maturely to not have responded. In, in other cases, other people will, will respond. And no matter what the consequences will be, they will be prepared to, to, to live with it. You're supposed to say that nonsense or you can't call back. You can't call exactly. back to leech here a whole generation around that spot. You, you, can, you can turn that into Yeka's face and say you, you, you're you a killer or you're a criminal. Yeka will react right there. And then we are has to, has to carry himself in a manner becoming of a president. That small boy behavior, uh, Jamaica resource star conversation influenced by exotic drinks, Hennessy, and you name it, cannot be the basis for you to engage people everywhere you see them in the public. Calling him role, right? Like, boy, you're you looking for a killer, you're looking for people enjoying democracy. As Pierre Riley said, do you have a killer? Is <laughs> the, the wife of, of the man whose government Reginald worked in that didn't give you democracy? She was first lady in that government. Today she's your vice president. You're looking for who enjoying democracy? You should be reminding her. Because she stood right there, watch her husband commit all of the atrocities without saying a word. Even after her husband was indicted, tried and convicted, sentenced, she was still doesn't believe that her husband was responsible for the mayhem that happened in Sierra Leone. How dare you? But Reginald is a good man. You know, on a, on the wrong day, you try that with some other people. They are police people to get you ticket on the spot. But the president will tell you right to your face that you're a criminal yourself. You squander the librarian people money. You're looting our state coffers. And to hell with you. Somebody will tell you that to your face. And then let's see what happened at the, at the peace accord. Boston to flame. Security have to arrest somebody. You know, this is this is so wrong for the president to be to be provoking people at, at public functions, saying nonsense. The same thing happened when Gifty, uh, when Gifty and Abba Peter died. Went in your church and started talking recklessly that they were boyfriend and girlfriend. How, how, how do you how do you as a president make these kind of uh, outlandish comments? about people, about events, about issues that the other family are hurting about. And then when you try to, to talk about it, people go, oh, you're against, nobody against, we are here. This is wrong. President have to carry, he has to carry himself in, in a manner that is representative of a president. Nowhere on earth, President Jack goes, he goes into, into a place and sees somebody, oh, you're enjoying democracy and you rogue, you stole my car. Well, get, get, get the hell out of here. This is 27 years ago. We are, you have to grow up, man. The same thing you did to other people. When people, people, you, 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 you bought things for, you say crap about, hey, oh yeah, I get it, man, my clothes. You know how many parts help you? When you were playing for IE, playing for Barrow, passing around, standing in front of your transport to, to Archie Bob Bonal, you know how many person gave you money? When you are eating potter for dinner, you know how many person gave you money? The money that even took you to preserve for training for six months. The taxpayer money. The library people invest in your career. Also, would you be passing around brush and telling you, say, oh, you ate our money. You, you, you didn't even care Lone Star anywhere, any place. You took us the, 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 the game that should have carried out to walk up. You're compromising for dancing, dancing cha cha slap. What kind of nonsense is this? You're a president for God's sake. Act like one. Don't behave like a kid. 
see people in the street and throwing jabs at them. What manner of nonsense is this? Guys, um, let's let's move now. The Pope yeah, Stevie, 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 one minute. One minute, I wanted to say something about this uh, Owen Brown and stuff that Pia talked about. Yeah, I mean, I really, really feel the pain of the mother. You know, initially, well, one time Clarence called me on a show, I was talking about it. She did just say that I was giving fake stories. The same thing I said uh, the Korea <laughs> that I know. That just because of influencing a process that deal her own incumbent president at the time, and hey, to local people because you from Liberia, they are own citizens. And the woman in jail, I think the former president were appealed that they must give us some and you know freedom as you want for medical and stuff. They can't compromise these things. Taking story from the issue of Japan, the way they might handle them, their history. So they're against all these things. You know, so maybe the only thing that will happen is if the mother want to come, maybe and pay a visit, I want to can do it. I want I, I, I contacted some of my friends to say yes. But to say you must go serve a punishment in Liberia, I say it can happen, I really won't see it. And I'm possible easily. If that's difficult or very impossible. And you know, and president, we are, you know, like uh, you can be saying that militants are overtaking and conflicts and stuff and pretending then you are there and you're throwing talks at people. And you know, we said it before. The president, the day he said go on to teach, I mean, I think God uh, carry tree to throw blow. I knew the man was not serious. So, I mean, I just wanted to pass into you know, that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jared. Thank you. Uh, 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 um, 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 you know the thing about this case that we you, you, uh, is, is most of the time in these rape cases uh, people forget the victims and they focus more on the perpetrator because of the punishment that eventually will come. Um, and that's why you have to be you know do have to be mindful in these cases because the victims are the real ones which you empathize with. They are the people who who are hurting through all of this. Uh, Moses and his right. colleague. They, they they ought to know better. He has said it yeah the other day. He needed he needed to save the me, If you don't mind, can I can I squeeze in a minute, please? If you don't mind. No, 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 my man. We'll, we'll go on. We'll go on one hour already. We'll get no, 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 okay. no. Anything. I just wanted to make that point. Let's focus more on the victims and and, 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 and whatever happens eventually in the grand scheme of things will be here to break the news. Uh, but we wish everybody well in this and we we'll pray for the family of the victims and uh, wish them as uh, well as they go through recovery. Um, so what's, your, what, what, what's your next talking point? So we're going to the pool now. Yeah, but we got almost three hours. I told you you are giving Danny don't change to say why, why you want to say. No, 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 my Danny don't want to come today, today, today. Uh, yeah, but, but you, you got to respect the opinion of your panelists, my man. You're not, you're not macro managing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny don't have enough time to do it. We're going one hour and three minutes. My man, we got to do the pool for a minute. Okay, it's okay. I will, I will talk later. It's okay. Okay, no, Danny don't go ahead one minute quickly. No, I just I just wanted to say yeah, Stephen. You know, that's the proof on our South Korea is one country that is dear to America's heart, and for America to particularly you know have their their mission where they got Marinko base station in countries like South Korea, that country to a reasonable extent must have some democratic and judiciary credentials. It is sad that you know Brother Owen Brown. We get himself in this, but uh, the the Owen Brown story can teach us two things. The other day, Pia struck a very good point that we go to funeral services. The eulogy is not intended for the dead person who lie in the coffin, but it's for the living people. You see, come to be honest, I cannot be in South Korea, for example, and I want to misbehave. I don't get guidance from Jerry. I am not suggesting that I want to misbehave. It's not any purple you see, you go, you start plucking. Some are dumb out purple, and some are properly rare purple. Stephen, in this country we live in, you will see teenagers. The way they the way they go to school, they wear attachment. You dare not say hello. Or her parents go set your phone and see and see un, un, I don't unwarranted messages. 
You shouldn't even put yourself in that situation. The urge behind Owen Brown wanting to take on that job. But as a Jason Henry went to court, this brother couldn't wait. The, the ego, you know, every, you know, young people, as much as we, with the zest, you know, for taking on national leadership, we want to be called ambassadors, you know, ambassador Mo Moses Owen Brown. I know the brother, he, he interviewed me at the Women Democracy Radio. I feel for his family. Yeah, it's the poor mother now crying and asking the government of Liberia to keep engaged so that her son will serve his, his turn in Liberia. It's a good thing, and we should we should we should ask the government to exert diplomatic, you know, measures so that. But again, the Koreans will not just release him if they don't, because you see that that was all the human rights report coming up. The people want to know your country human rights credential. They just no go look at what the U.S. here about you. Just the other day at the police headquarter, a senior officer of the Liberian National Police using his office space to rape somebody. The point on administrative leave, they brought him back on the job. So these are things the international people take cognizance of, Stephen. I just want to throw that in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Director. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, um, we're going an hour and five minutes. Let's let's run the polls. Um, uh, uh, no, Thomas, we can we can limit the polls to just people in Liberia. People in America too got influence in the voting Liberia. Uh, believe it or not, uh, somebody here can decide how at least five to ten percent Liberia will vote. So this is why um, the the opinion from from people here in the diaspora, just as they may not be able to vote physically, but their their strong influence on. No, it's not, even, it's not even true, Stephen. A lot of people living here and going to register to vote. It may not be as much as those on the ground, but people live here to go register to vote. And besides, like you said, even those who are not going, they influence the guys more than even the one vote they would have you know put in if they went back home. Somebody can sit down here, they have to move it out two, three thousand for the vote. So their opinion also matter. And, and Daniel, is Radio Dubai on? Yes, yes. Okay, the guy wanted to cry here again. No crying, Benin. Yeah, the people that are out with their security. Oh, somebody, 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 okay. So the nature of the politics is democracy. We, 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 yeah, now. I hope everybody said, I got a pen and a notepad. I got a pen and a notepad here. Yeah, cool. Jerry, you got pen and paper there? Yes, I do. Yeah, you know. Let me to, try. To... Let me try to get my, get my kids. Okay. So, yeah, you before, you need to... before you start a post, even play one hard game, be so anyone. Yeah, let me, let me, let me. Play one so everybody get ready, get your paper, get your pen. Let, yeah. let, let, let's start. <laughs> and please pin the number, yeah. Stephen, pin the number so yeah, I'll... but everything will be up. Don't worry.
We'll begin shortly. So there are two questions. Um, when you call, you answer. So to pause, take note. Um, first question is uh, who they prefer as a running mate. Um, uh, the second question to that is uh, whether they will um, support um, any can a candidate in the event where they prefer a candidate wasn't selected so you want to know a few things um and then uh we can we can uh <clears throat> we can conduct this pool get uh the results and uh and um and we can pick up from there i'm trying to arrange the number for the Steve, call Steve, Steve, may, I, may i ask you a question yes sir why are we running this pool we it's just part of just what we just want to know, man. What's going on? The same um, reason, the same reason we're running all the other pools we're running here. The, oh, but all the other pools have made no impact. Who told you yeah, that? Yeah, we yeah, well, have, 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 have that been a decision? Nobody, just, so yeah, we know nobody yeah, knows. Yeah, no decision have been made. Yeah, 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 you're not speaking for me. I don't want to talk to me. Let me say this. Let me say this on the on this on this pool matter, right? And let me be very clear. I mean, conducting a pool and get the reflection of our people is very good, but primarily picking the vice running mate is quite at the disposal of the principal, and that person will be Joseph Boyka. He gets to pick whoever you know he wants. I mean, pick doing an opinion pool. It's not like we're doing a pool for a district or for a county, so. Yeah, but Danny, the vice president, the former vice president, listens to this show a lot. He's, he's one of our biggest supporters here, and so it's important as okay. he thinks about making that decision 
uh, for us to to just hear what our people thinking. Can you have my yeah. number? Can you have my number? But, but, but Stevie, 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 in addition to that, Stevie, can you have my number? To have my vice president is a very wise man. Am I why you want your number? Why you want your number to be either you want to call you? Maybe those who are not being close to him, they don't know. He's a very wise man. Two, democracy is about the people. It would make no sense. Forget about class reloading. A lot of people have been having pool beside class reloading. It would make no sense, absolutely, that the sum total or the aggregate of all the pooling that have taken place in the country will be saying something, and as worse as Omen Bwaka is, you say to hell with those thoughts that have been expressed by our people on the different platform. I don't think so. I show the old man listens, and we're not doing it to say because we're doing it, we're forcing him because we just want other day. Like I said, that the reason why I'm making reference to the many pools is because we just want outlets. But you, particularly, Daniel, you on the ground, you know that there's been many, many, many pooling taking place in, in that Mon River that beside class reloading. And if those pools are pointing somewhere, the boy is in open work at school, and Darrington said that's his prerogative true. Yep. But when he goes to the pool, you don't, he doesn't vote himself. That people are supposed to vote him. And I know that as wise as he is, he takes that into consideration and is at the back of his mind. Stevie, Stevie, you can have a number so we have not to talk. It's very important, Daniel. Forget about it. What our personal you know, interest is, 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 is satisfied. Puri is important. Even if it doesn't come away, Puri is important. I learned the ones that the PR can talk about the issue. They do these pools in America every now and then. You also have multiple dialogues. Stevie, 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 Two days ago, there was Hello? a movie on why Americans think about Atlanta, it. Be got a hold of with 60 percent saying they support it. So the poor do this thing because every policy decision you take got to consider the interest yeah. of the people and what the people think. Stevie, can you can you also have a number so we can have multiple diaspora <laughs> number? Put it in the, you the chat. <laughs> the ad number is okay, man. No, 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 my man. You have to have other people calling. <laughs> You can't have that in front of nothing wrong with that. You're a number in the chat. You're going to have five, five local numbers. So two, that's why number will not do anything. Yeah, my number is there. Those of us, those of us, we're listening. But that is the way you find it today that your number should come here. All the time you've been talking. That yeah, you want, put your number there. That is not one of the people from his tendency to call his number. You see that? Because, <laughs> because. You're not sure you're going to say that. Because you are not putting your number yeah. there. <laughs> they gotta follow you, yo. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me get this. Let me get the number there straight. That's one. Hold on, so let me get it. In. Going five five yeah or two 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 or three three. Damn it. JMB, 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 man. The whole country is quiet. You and... Everybody is quiet. Say we are in North Town and they get two questions to answer. You and Jupal, we are local now. We take 4-4 each. Yeah. We are take 4 your break. That is not myself. We take 2-2-2. Yeah, you know what I mean? Then we go back to your 4-2. 4-2. Okay. So, Jupal, four, 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 you probably announce the number now. <laughs> so this evening, the numbers to port you through are 0887 047 2019 
seven zero seven seven zero zero seven seventy two zero eight six sixty seven seventy two eighty two zero eight six sixty seven seventy two eighty two and a diaspora number plus one four zero one six eight 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 two six six plus one four zero one six eight 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 two six six and plus one two one five eight two four six zero six zero plus one two one five eight two four six zero six zero plus one two one five eight two four six zero six zero so i can start from my side right yeah go ahead go ahead you you call it a number go ahead so we already have so many line go ahead color yeah um I think we buy guns from From Bon County, go ahead, Chief. Uh, you following the program? Yeah, I would prefer Nyambi Kanga Lawrence. Nyambi Kanga Lawrence. So if Nyambi Kanga Lawrence is not selected as the vice running mate to Ambassador Bwakai, will you still support the presidency of Ambassador Bwakai? Oh yeah, for the sake of the country, we will support. No, Jupo, don't go beyond that. Yes, sir. Don't go too long. You go too long. Yes, sir. No, Jupo. Yeah. Thank, thank. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Yes, sir. No. Hello, Jupo. One second. Good evening to everybody. Uh, I will log off. I will follow the show. I don't want my president to seem like uh, we influencing. After the vote, I will come back to talk about. <laughs> After the vote, I will come back to talk about the rehabilitation center that okay, we are going to Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I want anybody to think my president. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I will, I will log. Okay, Mr. Principal, we'll bring you back. Yeah. Thank you. I will be watching you in the background. And I'm simple <laughs> mistake. <laughs> Hello, Carl. How are you? Your name is where you call from? I'm calling from Nima County. Nima County, this is my age, Nima County. Okay. My name is Carl Jaka. I'm supporting a professor in the school. Okay. And if you have that name, will you support Waka? All right, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, caller. Yeah, Jibo. Your name, where you call from? Hold it on. Okay, who, who, who is a candidate? Ambassador Bwakai. Who was it? Who do you prefer for him to name as running mate? Nyomli is not from Senator. If Nyomli is not named, will you support Bwakai? Sure, 100%. Thank you. Hello, caller. Caller, hello. Caller, hello. Stop listening to the radio. Listen to the phone. Hello, caller. Hello. Your name is where you call from? My name is Francis Myers. I do call from the Canon City Grand Ambassador. Who is your preferred VP candidate, Ambassador Bwaka? Senator Nyomi Kanga Lawrence. If she's not named, will you support Bwaka? My political leader was his son. Thank you. Kada, hello? Hello? Your name is where you call from? My name is Brooks E.K. I call from Brampton, Lima County. Who is your preferred VP candidate, Ambassador Bwaka? My preferred VP candidate is uh, Senator Jeremiah Pankow. Is Senator Kung, is that name? Will you support Bwaka? If anyone is, is named besides the uh, call, I'm going to to to, to support the presidency of Ambassador Mr. Yuma Baka, the rescue father. Thank you. Hello, caller. Okay. Hello, Juven Kiyan. Yamri Kanga Lawrence. If she's not named, will you support Baka? Uh, evidently. Thank you. Hello, caller. Yeah. Hello. Your name and where you call from? I'm Stewart Dirk, speaking from Yasmo, Lima County. Who is your candidate? Um, I select Jeremiah Kuhn. If he's not named, will you support Waka? Yeah. 
If Baka doesn't name Kun, will you say Sobo Baka? 100%. Thank you. Daniel, I think you're going to remember, so let that come, let come on the other side. Call on the line from the U.S. Hello? Yes. You got a hold of Yeah, my name is Winifred. I'm calling for Delaware. Yes, Winifred. I uh, chose a running mate. Aaron Costa. If, if Costa is not chosen, will you still support Buaka? Oh, definitely. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Caller... Caller on the line from, I guess, New York. Caller on the line from New York. How you doing, sir? Yes, your choice of running mate. My choice of running mate is Henry P. Costa. If Henry Costa is not chosen, will you still support Waka? No, thank you. Thank you. But Daddy, don't go ahead. I don't have a call, so you can go ahead. You can take four one out in. You are muted, Pia. Okay, I got a call here. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I have a call. I mean, I have a call. Daniel, you start this other night in the thing. I have a call. Okay. Who's your candidate? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, just hold on. We will do this for Liberia. We already. No, your name, your name is where you call from. I'm Daniel Kiri Kagwa calling from Bong County, Bangla City. Who is your candidate? My candidate is Liberia. Anybody gave me truth, I'm going to stand by him for that because we need someone that will rescue this country. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, Daniel, you got to hold it there. We got to be organized. You're taking eight, we're taking four. Why are they taking call on the side? You can't jump there and start taking call. I thought you were yeah. done, Pia. No. Okay, call on, go ahead. Yeah, I said on, my name is Jamal Rafael and I joined the conversation from Germany. Yeah, quickly. Of, yeah, Monday is Senator Young Britanna Laura. What if she is not picked? Will you still support Joseph Waka? Oh yes. Okay. Yes, definitely, I will support. Thank you. That is not get a call. Go ahead. I have a call. 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 Go ahead. Your name? Where you calling from? Uh, my name is Abed. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. I uh, support uh, Joseph Aga with Henry Costa, but if he doesn't carry Costa, I'll support him any candidate he take. Thank you. I have one more here. Hello, caller, your name and where are you calling from? That's just two. My name is Shanti Kulpepper. Say it again. I'm calling from Minneapolis. Okay, Shanti good. Kulpepper. Your choice for running mate? Henry P. Costa. Henry P. Costa, thank you. I have another caller here. Hello, hello. Your name and where you call from? Christopher Young, calling from Gata City, the Macante. Okay, who's your candidate? For a real coon. If Baga doesn't name coon, will you still support him? No. Thank you. Hello, Kara. Call on the line. Uh, 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 that if it is your phone that ringing, you got to mute while you're not on because it's, it's interfering. Hello. Hello, Kara. Hello, Kara. Yeah. Your name and where you call from? Yeah, I'm from our I'm, I'm calling from Power New Jersey. Who is your candidate? If it's not name, will you say support Baka? Okay, thank you. Call on the line, hello? Hello? Yes, your name, where you call from? Romeo Tawinawa, do you join me from Tanda City in Baka? Who's your candidate? Consider Tawinawa, see a If Baka doesn't name Gonglo, will you still support him? Kora, hello? Hello? Go ahead, your name and where you call from? I'm in Tiba, and I'm calling from Gamba, Sakanka. Who's your candidate? Your preferred VP candidate is Bwaka? I'm a Bagandi Kangala. If Bwaka doesn't name Nyombli, would you say support him? I will say that I'm coming out for the internet of the team. All right. See me while I'm in the Jubora. 
I have a call, yeah? Well, I know you, I know you, I know you. I didn't turn the book out of take eight before they come to us. So yeah, I call her, hold on. Call on the line, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Your name is where you call from? Who's your preferred VP choice to Baka? Nyomri Kama Lawrence. If Baka doesn't name Nyomri, will you say support him? Thank you. Call on the Lonsa line, how are you? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, but go ahead. Sir, I think Lawrence. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hello, caller. You didn't ask the man the second question as to whether he was supporting your being natural. And besides that, you're taking four, you're both taking four, so don't be going endlessly. Yeah, but Pia, you know, yeah. But Pia, you Pia, you confuse it, and you know, is off and on. But go ahead. Steven, you brought the man on. Yeah, he got my own. The man is a man. That's correct. So, so who's your choice of BBK in the Baga? What to Bona? Yeah, he will take it. If Baga doesn't name Kun, will you sub? Will you stay support Baga? I support him. Thank you. Call on the orange line. How are you? Yeah, I'm Yuji. You talk from the Kenyan Grand Baga country. Okay. Uh, who's your preferred candidate? A uh, VP choice of Baga? Senator Yuji Kanala. If Baga doesn't name her, will you say support him? She will decide. Thank you. Call on the Lone Star Line. Chopo, you got a call? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Go. Yeah, go. Hello. The last go ahead. Go, overseas. Hello. go ahead. James Henry. Okay. Call from Kakata City. Who's your. Who's your. Tanga Lawrence, Senator from Grand Bata County. If Baga doesn't name her, will you say support him? Uh, it all will be decided by the person that I support. All right, thank you. Hey, after you, Pierre. Okay, call out the language. My name is Blessing, and I'm from New Jersey. Yes, ma'am. And, and, and I vote in a vote here, Custer. Why if Waka doesn't pick him? Will you still support Waka if he doesn't pick him, Custer? Yes. Okay, that's all I wanted from you. Thank you. Um, let me take the second one that I come to you, Darlington. Uh, he's caller. Uh, sorry, caller on the line. Your choice. Okay, I call it already. So. Call on the line, your choice. Call on the line. Um, I'm in Farrah Harris calling from West Virginia. Nobody can call Lawrence. Why if Waka doesn't pick Nyomli? Nyomli, wherever Nyomli goes, there we will go. Okay. Dali, don't go ahead. Call on, you've been on the line for some time. Your name and where you're calling from. I'm calling from Australia, and my choice for VP position is Heron P. Costa. And what if Boyka doesn't take Heron Costa? Will you still support him? GMB will ever, GMB will ever be my choice. Yes, I will support GMB. All right, thank you. Yeah. Hello, caller, your name and where you calling from? I'm calling from New Jersey. Okay, your name, please. My name is Dawu. Who's your choice of VP? Aaron P. Costa. And if Boyka doesn't pick Costa? I would definitely go with Boyka as well. Thank you. All right, go back to the local call. Local call, go back to the local call. So I have a call on the line. Uh, call, what's the name where you calling us from tonight? I'm Kunya. I'm calling from Qatar City, Nima County. It's good to have you. Go ahead, Chief. Yeah, after your question, uh, Senator Kum is the best because things so, into his electoral race are always very victorious. So, 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 yeah. Yeah, no trouble. No trouble already there. Yeah, so there is no time. Uh, just tell us if who is not selected. 
What's the next option? Okay. Thank you. Hello. Before, before we ask the question properly, now I have a next option. If DMB doesn't take your choice, will you stay vote for him? That's the question direct. I guess yes or no thing. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what's any more calling us from? Call your life in the program. I'm sorry, I'm calling you for rehab. Yeah, I'm calling you for rehab. Okay, go ahead. So if not, I mean, if she's not selected, we would uh, ambassador block that. Okay. You live in the program, Carla. Please turn down your monitor. You live in the program. You live in the program. Please turn down your monitor and tell us. Yeah, I can say the line. Okay, if Senator Lauren is not selected as the vice running mate, we will put the uh, the ambassador. Thank you so very kindly. You live in the program, ma'am. Who's your preferment? You live on the program. Who's your preferment? Yeah, yeah. So who's your preferment, ma'am? Who you prefer to be? So if Nyombi is not picked as the vice running mate, we vote Ambassador Baka. Sure, 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 sure. Thank you. Daniel, your Hello, turn, Daniel. Yeah, hello. Your name, where you call from? Um, I'm comes, I'm comes not in your from Kibolo. Okay, who's your preferred candidate? Uh, not the Kanga Lawrence. Uh, why if she's not named by Baka, would you say support him? Exactly. Thank you. Uh, call on the orange line, how are you? Yeah, good evening. Uh, I'm taking a student call from Kanga Lawrence. Who's your preferred VP choice or the ambassador? Why if she's not named? She will deserve. Thank you. Caller, how are you? Yeah, how are you doing, sir? Your name and where you call from? Uh, this is Musa Sheriff calling from Labasi. Who's your preferred VP uh, choice for the ambassador? Eric, thank you, Costa. Why if Costa is not named? Uh, definitely, I will still support uh, Thank you. Call on the orange line. How are you? I'm fine. I'm sorry, I'm calling from Black Bassa. Who's your preferred pick? Yeah, Why if Kumo is not named by the ambassador? I will say for the ambassador. Okay. Call on the line. Go ahead. Sorry. Got uh, yes, sir. Yeah, my name is Emmanuel P. I call you from Nigeria, Lagos. Oh, from Lagos. Who is your choice to run for, I mean, as vice president of Joseph Waka? From Ligana Lawrence. What if Waka doesn't pick up? Will you still support him? 100%. Thank you. Ah. Now, let me take my second and I'll come to you. Okay, we're taking only two to call on the line. Go ahead. Call on the line. Uh, yes. Your choice for running mate? Yeah. MMP Costa. Why if Joseph Waka doesn't pick him? Why if Waka doesn't pick Henry Costa? You still support him? I will still support Joseph Waka 100%. Okay, then don't take your two calls. Hello, caller. You've been on the line from Raw Island. Your name and where you calling from? Uh, I'm Matari Cedric Wapiti calling from Rock Island. Why are you doing the camera so? Go ahead, caller. Yeah, so uh, my favorite candidate is uh, Jeremiah Kuhn. All right, Jeremiah Kuhn. And if Rekha doesn't pick Jeremiah Kuhn, will you support him? Yeah, I'll, I'll still support him 100%. All right, thank you. One more caller here. Hello, caller, your name and where you calling from? Yeah, my name is Mohammed Pony. I'm calling from Istanbul. Okay, caller from Istanbul. Who's your preferred choice for VP? 
I support, I support all the five presidential candidates. I just want to. My man gotta be serious here, but I say support the presidential candidate. Pick one. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm Okay, thank you. So, right, and, Daniel, go ahead. Daniel, go ahead. Daniel, go ahead. Daniel, 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 Daniel you muted. Daniel, you muted. We're not hearing anything you're doing there. You muted. A bug, or you said Jeremiah Kun, right? Why a bug doesn't name Kun? Well, who is the materials, especially for the bias like So we just appeal it to him. So he can care for the who I bag or in it. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> is that is that a valid vote? Call a quiet. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Who you prefer to pick? Yes, yeah, Okay, why Baga in Kerry Kun? My brother, I already see the video on Baga Kerry Kun live. Thank you, thank you, boss man. Karole Longsala, how are you? Yeah, hello. Okay, your name where you call from? Yeah, this is Eric G. P. R. Calling from Kanto, Airplane Zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Why are you uh, I have uh, for any way we can you know our mother, our sister, the need to know a farm and to know a Yeah, but uh, yeah, when, when say, ask for that one, we say, why are you anymore? What will happen? No, I will say, forgive my purpose. Thank you. Call on the, no, I won't guess too, right? Tell me, Call on, how are you? Yeah, how are you doing? Your name, where you call from? My name is Abba Kaba. I'm calling from Blue Community. Okay. Who, who's your preferred pick? Henry Pedro Costa. Why Boga doesn't name Costa? I will vote you all the other line. All right. Thank you. Call on the orange line. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. Where you call from? I call from the uh, Ola Connect display, specifically Bokiam, Grand Cape Mount. Who's your preferred pick to the ambassador? Uh, uh Jeremiah Pankun. Okay, why Baga in Kerry Kun? I will say Boba Omen Baga. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, call on the call on the line. Who is your preferred pick for our running mate? Sorry, that was uh, uh, Nobi Kanga Lawrence. Okay, Nobi Kanga Lawrence. Why did Joseph Baga decide not to pick on you? Stay support Baga? Oh, yeah, stay support Baga. I tell him I'm going to pull up for you. Oh, okay. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, call, her, call her on the line, your preferred pick for running mate. Uh, for me, uh, this is Dick. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah, this is David Evacuola. I'm calling from uh, Oslo in Norway. Yeah. Uh, my preferred candidate would be the, the, the choice of the uh, blocker. Okay, anybody just a blocker picks? Exactly. All right. Uh, Daddy, don't go ahead take your two calls. Caller from Ohio. The name of where you calling from? I'm Hassan Kamara. I'm, I'm not from Ohio. I'm calling from Norfolk, Virginia. Okay, Virginia. Right. I prefer Henry Costa. And why? If Baga don't pick Costa. I will stay supporting. Okay, thank you. Right. All right. One second here. <clears throat> Caller, you been? Hold on. Call her your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Anton, Delaware. Your name, please. This is Anna Hart. Your pick for vice running mate? Of course, Henry P. Costa. And if and Boyga doesn't take Costa? I will most definitely uh, support GMB. Okay, you still support Boyga. Okay, thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. <clears throat> call, her, call her on the orange line. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm asking you. We don't call it from Grand Pass County. Okay, who's your preferred VP uh, choice to the old man? Senator Nyobi Kanga Lawrence. And why if Baga doesn't name her? Uh, we know Baga will name her, but we'll just support Baga. All right, thank you. Okay, Kolo, Kolo how are you? Uh -huh. Your name is where you call from? Hey, my name is Aumara, I'm from Nima, Mr. Senator Kanga. Okay, who's your preferred VP choice? 
And why a bagger doesn't name him? All right, thank you. Color, how are you? Color, are you there? Hello. Your name is where you call from? Well, I'm Chris Moore, but I call from Maryland people. Maryland people, how are you following the show? I'm following internet. Okay, who's your preferred VP pick to the woman? And what if, what if she's not named? I will say support. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Really? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Colo, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Your name is where you call from? Yeah, my name is Pretty Karen Kwan. And I join you for Rubio. Okay, who's your preferred candidate? Preferred uh, candidate. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I mean, you're not ready. Call your name, Quiet. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Quiet. Yeah, this is James Bia. I do call from River Sears County. Preferred candidate is Senator Nyomikina Lawrence. And why? She's from Grand Bassett County. Why is she not named? Oh, uh, we still have to support DMB going to take off this criminal government. Thank you. Call, are you there? Yeah, hello. Go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm talking about hey, Jimmy calling on the Okay, who's your preferred candidate? Oh, uh, uh, young Lawrence. Okay, why is she not named? Will you say support Baga? What I was here, I would say support Baga. Okay, Pia? Uh, call her on the line from the US, go ahead. Your name and then your choice. Call her on the line from the US. Am I on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm George Numbo. All right. I support the two primary candidates, Yombri Kanga Lawrence or Kuhn, if Joseph Walker <laughs> does not select any of those two, I have thousands of voters on my belt, I will influence them not to support Wakai. All right. And I feel that this. No, we, we want explanation. I have people here who call some of us claustrophobic. And for them to be talking uh, or taking calls, I feel that the whole program is conflicted. Thank you. Somebody on the line say they're claustrophobic? Dal say we are claustrophobic. Dalton here. Oh, Darlington, yes, Darlington. Darlington said he's claustrophobic. Yes. So he and you believe that because of that he should not be taking call. He should not be taking call. What about Daniel Sano who what, what, what about Daniel Sano who works in Yomi Kanga Lawrence office? Oh, he's also conflicted. <laughs> so would, you call, would you call the bomber and oil? Only you boy myself you take the call, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me take my second call. I can't do Daniel, you honor your I mean, Daniel, you honor your tag as always because you can't bring cost of food, baby. Uh, call up my second call. Up, go ahead. Hello, my name is Dennis Johnson calling from the USA, Delaware. Yes, sir. Your vote. Oh, my food, I'll be uh, voting for him and Petro Costa. What if Joseph Walker does not, why if Joseph Walker does not pay Costa? Oh, 100%. You still support him? Joseph Walker. Okay, thank you, sir. Darling, don't go ahead, your two calls. Hold on. Call out your name and where you call it from. My name is Jay Banja Katakao. And where are you calling from? I'm calling from California. Who's your pick for running mate? Henry Petro Costa. And if Boyka don't take Henry, I will still support Boyka. Thank you. Call up from Minnesota. Your name and where you calling from? Yeah, this is Hassan Dubre calling from Minnesota. Uh, 
uh, I just hear you preferable candidate. For me, mm -hmm. both of them either uh, Kom or uh, Nyambi Kanga. You got to pick, Chief. Some. You have to pick one. I know you want to I pick two. Have... Pick one, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, then I, I pick up uh, Nyambi. Okay, thank you. Listen to Nyambi. All right. Okay. Oh, Darlington, why if the person is not paid, you should ask him the second question. Can I, take can, I, can I proceed? Yeah, Darlington, go ahead. Darlington, go ahead. Call on the loose. Call on the Amish line. How are you? Your background is terrible. Your name is where you call from? I'm calling from Grand Valley, Adam Joseph P. Who's your? Why is she not picked? I should decide for us. All right, thank you. Call it Lusa Langoya. Yeah. Serena Kum. This is what they have for my three. Okay. Why Kum is that name? No to Braga. Thank you. Call on the orange line. He said no, right? He said no, right? Yeah, he said no. Yeah, I'm calling for him, Pastor. Okay, okay. Why is she not named? Huh? Why is she not named? I said, why Baga doesn't name her? All right, thank you. Call on the uh, call on the original. How are you? Hello, yeah, I'm all right. Your name and where you call from? I'm calling from Grand Bassa County. Yeah, I'm but be Gabe. Oh, Mr. Gabe, how are you? They're fine. <laughs> they pull, they pull rest. The chairman calling. So, <laughs> who's who, who's your who's your who's your preferred candidate? No big kind of orange. And why if she's not why if she's not uh, uh, chosen by Baka? All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Okay. Kolo, are you there? Hello. Yeah, hello. I'm Joseph Chusu Kalo calling for Kata. All right, Joseph. Who's your candidate? Uh prefer Sendo Kun. Sendo Kun, why is not chosen? Alright, thank you. Call on the long how are you? I'm Where you uh, name it, where you call from? My name is and I for Okay, uh so who's your preferred uh VP choice or the ambassador? Okay, so why if Kumo is not chosen? I will pay for uh Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We we have all our we have all our lowest nation. Call are you there? Yeah, this is Joe Vitonti, and I join you from my oral era in Maserato. Who's your preferred VP pick to Boaca? Senator Joe Mikanga Lawrence. Why if she's not named? Oh, the PL would decide. Thank you. I got one more. I got one more to go up here. Cut on the long style, the orange line. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Your name is where you call from? Joshua K. from Takata. Joshua, who's your preferred VP pick to Boaca? Why if Kumu is not named? I am still there 100%. Thank you. Okay, so hold on. You stay there. Stay there, one hundred percent. Call up on the line. Go ahead. Call up from the U.S. Uh, your name and your choice. Yes, uh, I'm from Canada. My name is Frances Wallo. My choice is Nomi Kanga Lawrence. What if Waka doesn't pin Nomi? Will you still support him? I will absolutely support him. Thank you. Uh, my last, my, my, my second call out uh, before I go to Darlington. Your name and your choice. My name is Nukwe Womolba. Yes, ma'am. I'm calling from New Jersey. Your choice. My choice is Nyombi Kanga Lawrence. If Waka doesn't choose her, will you still support Waka? Yeah. 
Okay, thank you. Now you don't go ahead. Um, caller from Australia. You've been patient. Your name and where you calling from? My name is Blair Dolo, and I'm calling from Australia. Um, originally from the country, from the Manor Belt. Mm -hmm. Your peak for running mate, fast running mate. My peak is Yombi Kanga Lawrence. And if Bwaga don't pick Yombi Kanga Lawrence, who will you uh, support? Um, I'll, still tell, I'll still tell my family and friends to vote for um, um, Ambassador Bwaga. All right, thank you. One more caller here. This person has been on my line. Okay. Hello? Hello, caller, your name and where you calling from? I'm Stephen Gorgio and I call you from Delaware, USA. All right, Stephen, who's your pick for vice running mate? I hear from Nima, but then I'll be, I'll be supporting you. Okay. In case she's not big, uh, we'll fall in line with rescue one. Okay, so and that means if, if she's not pick, you support anybody he picks, right? Rescue one. All right, thank you. Uh, Jupoy, if you got call, go ahead. You got you get on. Oh, go ahead. Uh, what What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Yes, I am Samba. Okay, Chief, go ahead. Who's your preferment? Yes, I am Samba from Kansa. Jeremiah Kuhn. Jeremiah Kuhn. If who is not selected, who will you vote for? I'm 100% Wakai. Wakai, thank you. Hello? Hello? Yeah. You're live in the program. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Steven Jenny. I'm calling from Ganta. From Ganta. It's good having you, Chief. Uh, so tell us, who's your preferment? Yeah. I'm not getting you. Who's your preferment? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. You have in the program, Chief. Uh, what's your name? And let's talk. I'm going to post off calling from Soul Clinic. It's good to have you from Soul Clinic. Tell us, who's your preferment? Nyombi Kanga Lawrence. If Nyombi is not selected? I'll stay with okay. Rescue One. Rescue One. Thank you. Hello. I got a call. I got a call. Yes, good evening. Let me just after this, then you can pick. Yes, Sandro. Yes. You, you are not taking all the call elements to a full call. Then you can't do it for your own full yeah. call. Yeah, so go ahead. Yeah, my name is Alan Mia. I'm calling to a guy that's very good. You should be getting Honorable Kuhn. Jeremiah Kuhn. So if Honorable Kuhn is not selected, will you still oh. vote for the rest of the call? I'm a family that I'm a family that I'm a family that I'm a family that I'm KMB. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello. Live on the program. I think you. Yes, I get my calling from the photo Okay, Michael, go ahead. Where's your friend? Last message of the Okay. Normally, Kelly Okay. If she's not selected. Thank you. Who's your preferred choice? Why is she not picked? All right, thank you. Caller, are you there? Hello? Yes, your name and where you call from? Um, I'm from Canada, Okay, uh, who's your preferred candidate? You can go, Lawrence. Why, if she's not chosen? Thank you. Cora, are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm there. Your name and where you call from? This is Lawrence David Adjins. I do the conversation from the Kenya Grand Basa country. Okay, who's your preferred choice? Senator Jovi Kanga Lawrence. Why if she's not chosen? Wherever she goes, there we go. Thank you. Carlo, how are you? Okay. 
call on the long salon, are you there? Yes. Your name is where you call from? Where? Go ahead, Rasmo. Yeah. Why is she not chosen? Thank you. There you go. Cora, are you there? The last one. Cora, are you there? Hello, are you there? Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. 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 I mean, they got a line. Difficult to go to you. Go to the line. I'm hearing you. How are you? I'm back. You're naming what? Okay, so who who you think Baga should choose? And why if she's not chosen, what, what will happen? What do you say about Baga? Now now the question we're asking you. The question we're asking are yes and no. If if Nyombri is not chosen by Baga, will you say support Baga? Yes, I'll say support Baga. Thank you. Okay, call on the line from the U.S. Uh, you stay on the line. Thank you for holding on. Go ahead. Yes, my name is Jaren Pika. I'm calling from Rochester. Yes, sir. Uh, we support Sir Lawrence Kanga Lawrence. If Joseph Waga decide not to pick up, will you still support Joseph Waga? I uh, will still support GMB. My entire family in Liberia, Rivers, Green Pass, uh, Mozzarella County will support GMB. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, uh, let me take my second and I'll come to you. Um, uh, Color on the line, your yeah. your name. Your, my name is James Caracuzin. I'm calling the numbers are high. Your choice. My choice, anybody who may care about support Kumi Harakasin. All right, so you don't have a problem. Anybody you choose, whether that nobody can cost you a support. Okay, thank you. Thank you All right, go ahead, Darlene, your two calls. Color, your name and where you calling from? Justice Curry. I'm calling from Iowa. Um, who's your pick for running mate? Uh, Henry Fletcher Costa. If he's not pick, I'll still support this trouble. All right, thank you. Yes, call up from call up from Delaware. Your name and where you calling from? Hello. You're live. Your name and where you calling from? My name is Sayuna Nella. Mm hmm. And who's your I pick for? I that way. And who you support for for running mate? I, I support Henry Costa. And if Joseph Boyga don't pick Henry Costa, I will still support him. Okay, thank you. All right. Go ahead, Dubois. Uh, call on the line, please. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You have any problem, please? This is Prince Bernard. I'm calling from Portland. This is number three. I'm also Adam. Okay, go ahead. Jumbly. I'm hey, not selected. 100% support GMB. Okay, thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Yes, you're having a program. Go ahead, Jesus. Who's your preferment? I'm calling from the Jumbly Bell. Who's your preferment, Jesus? Which species? I'm a federal question. Costa, so if he's not selected? No problem. Anybody go by that spell, we will take that side. No problem, Chief. Thank you. Hello? Well, you are being English or preferred, baby. When you think that. Yeah, why not prefer me to you also book on the guest being English? You prefer me, prefer me. Okay, yes, hello. You have no program. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling for Kakata. My name is Joseph Kier. Okay. Um, yes, Jim. I will support any. Running mate at GMB Select. I will support them. Hey, no running mate. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I'm Samuel Sophia, and I do join you for the first day of the year. Go ahead, Chief. Say that. 
Please go ahead, please. Okay, my child is Senator Nyombi Kanga Barrett. Okay, so if Senator Nyombi is not selected? I still support Joseph Waka 100%. Even if Joseph Waka for one future, the answer will still support him. Thank you so much. Danny, are you there? I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Call on the orange line. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. This Richmond person calling from Grand Basel. Richmond, uh, Hello, Daniel. Who's calling? Come from Grand Basel. Come, Lawrence. Huh? The Daniel Bikanga Lawrence. What if Waga doesn't choose her? She will decide where we go. All right. Thank you. Let me take the call on the uh call on call on the MGL. Are you there? Quarter and MTL, are you there? Uh, my name is Ernest Lana calling for Glory River of Nishanta, Nima County. Ah, yeah, you see, I'm a call from Basel, you yeah, pull from Nima County, my lawn. <laughs> Go ahead, Eric. <laughs> yeah, I choose Senator Johnson, Senator Cook. Senator Johnson, Senator Cook. I ain't bad at Volo. Anyway, why if Kuma is not chosen by Baga? Huh? Why if Baga doesn't choose Kuhn? Okay, All right, thank you. Call on Lon Salah, how are you? Call are you there? Okay, so come to the orange line. Call are you there? Austin, Austin from Ganta? Yeah, I know not from Ganta. Say no Kun. Why if Kun was not chosen? I will go by the Jawia. You go by the Jawia. Yeah. Thank you. Kolo, are you there? Kolo. Hello. Kolo, long How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I'm with more Wilson calling from Maryland. Where's my Wilson? And you call for us? No, no, no. This is my first call ever in the creation of this platform. Okay, who's who's your who's your preferred candidate? Uh, I prefer Jeremiah Kuhn mm -hmm. uh, from Nima. Okay. He is that uh, if the no, I say what if he's not named? I say I say give reason. Okay, but if you don't name, uh, actually I'm a UP uh, man for the United Party. I, I was 12 years, uh, my, my father introduced you know, the party to me. My man, all that's so important in life is Jamie. Will you stay support Bwaga? Anywhere Bwaga goes, uh, they will go. Anywhere you do. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Caller, are you there? Yeah. Your name is where you call from? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What call your name now? Prince Mane. Yeah. Yeah, Why if Kung is not chosen? Thank you. Okay, call out I thought you were going to fold, Daniel. No more. Wow. Call out there. Call out there. Call out Call out there. Call out there. Call out there. You say your name? Well, I'm not sure you're calling from the Kennedy in Kambaza County. Who's your candidate? Uh, Senator Nyombi Kanga Lawrence. Why if she's not chosen? No, she's the dreams and aspirations of people that just haven't chosen. Thank you. Yeah, I'll do you. Call on the line, go ahead. Okay, um, I'm Jared D. Ajivam. I'm calling from Northern Sweden. Um, where I'm studying, and I, I support Nyombi Kanga to be the vice running mate for Joseph Nyombi Bwaka. If Bwaka does not choose Nyombi, will you still support Bwaka? I'm a full unit department, so I'll continue supporting unit, uh, Joseph Bwaka. Okay, thank you very much. No matter who he chooses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are, you are clear. Let me take my second one, Darlington, and come over to you. Uh, caller on the line. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, my name is 
So you're listening to it. Why were you listening to on the show? You're still listening to it. You got to cut it off and pay attention only to the phone. Uh -huh. Okay. My name is Cal Donzo. Uh, I'm calling from Minnesota. Uh, and I do support uh, Mr. Kong. If Joseph Waka does not choose Kong, will you still support Waka for president? Yeah, I'm for change, man. Okay. Thank you very much. That didn't go ahead. Thank you. Caller, you been patient. Your name and where you calling from? Harris Oliver, according from Duboro Zubata. Duboro uh, Zubata. Who you support for VP? Yeah. Heron B. Costa. Heron P. Costa. And if Boyka don't take Heron Costa? I will still support Joseph Yuman Boyka. Thank you. Caller from, call from Massachusetts. Your name and where you calling from? Me is Jared James Dobley. Hey, Jared Dobley? I want my Jared Dobley. Joe Walker, followed by Jerome Gondo. We need people with folks. Hey, Jared W, give me one minute. Cousin, cousin Jared. Who, who is he like? Jared G. W, I support the opposition model. Say it on Yoru Kanga Lore. Okay. We have a base, followed by Councilor Jerome Gondo. But Jared got a, Jared got a big wall. <laughs> big wall, Jared W. Jared w. If, what if his choice is not P? I hey, hey, yeah. why, why if your choice is not P, is not taken? Will you support Joseph Waga? <laughs> hey, Jared W. If Waga not pick your choice of running mate, will you support Waga? <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry Dobley from, from Worcester, Massachusetts. From Worcester, Mass. <laughs> bye bye, Jerry. <laughs> What's yeah, I think we should take one more round so that we can be able to get time to do the result and then con conclude. How long? Uh, can you can you calculate how long you're taking the call for already? So we go, we go now uh, about one hour, 40 minutes. Of course. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Cause start it with them one hour. It's gonna be one hour for the minute. One hour, thirteen minutes. One hour, yeah. Minutes. For the minute, not possible. Who said? Who said a call for one hour? Though? No, we didn't say so. Let's take few. I, I think we need to stop it there, man. Yeah, we we'll stop it there. So that because then number, I talk fast some more. Happy me he left. I got to calculate all the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got all the numbers here. I got all the numbers here. And second, they don't want to talk something, so we got to call our opponent. I got the numbers here. I got the numbers here. No, I'm writing it down. Yeah, what they don't even count up a rehab center to full flow. So yeah, so let's take one more round and then we'll close it. I don't know. Take your second call. He done. Danny done done. So you told me one. You yeah, took one guy. You took one already. Yeah, you took one. 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 you took one. Yeah, 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 you took you live on the program. Please go ahead. Okay, sorry. Hello? Hello? You live on the program. Go ahead. What's your name? Hello? You live on the program. Hello? Oh, what's going on? Oh, you sure you're, not, you're not having a problem? You sure you're sure you're Hello? Problem? Yeah, I'll be live on the program. What's your name? We are okay. What's your name? Why are you calling us from tonight? It's good having you from Ganta. Please go ahead. Yeah, I I will vote Jeremy and JMB. Okay, so if Mr. Uh, Honorable Kuhn is not selected, will you still vote JMB? Yeah, I will still vote JMB. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. You have a program, please go ahead. What's the name? Where are you calling us from? Uh, my name is Franklin. Okay, Franklin. Yeah, I'm calling from Senator Cole. Senator Cole, so if uh, Senator Cole is not uh, taken as uh, Senator Cole, so if Senator Cole is not taken as the vice running mate, will you still vote uh, JMB? Uh, Sarah? I'm not saying I'm not going to vote JMB. 
you will stay alone okay chief hello hello yeah you are having a program i'm calling your grandma to come there i'm telling you she will come here why so if senator lawrence kanga is not selected she would she would be sad she would be sad where to go where to go okay thank you okay. Um, let me take my last you have a program please try dial your monitor please sorry hello, hello. Yeah. yeah please go ahead what's the name where you calling us from tonight hello hello calling calling for ganta city in makati it's good having you agnes go ahead okay i choose senator kum senator kum so if he is not selected we will still support joseph dima brother thank you Call on the orange line. How are you? Yeah, hello. Yes, your name where you call from? I'm Timothy Brown calling from Rwanda, Kigali. Go ahead, Timothy. My choice is Senator Donkey Kanga Lawrence, the best. And why is she not chosen? Anyway, she go I will follow her. Thank you. Hello, are you there? Yes. Your name where you call from? Martina Konate, Costa Princess, on in Mandi. Okay. Who's your preferred candidate? Karen Peter Costa, of course. Why is his not name? I still support GMB, but I pray that he be me. Because he's better suit the position than any other person. Thank you, Martina. Call on the MTN line. How are you? Hello, are you there? Was that color? Color, are you there? Yeah, how you doing? I've come from the southeast, River Deep County. Okay, who's your preferred choice? Senator Kuhn. Why is that name? If anybody you take, that's my choice. I will vote for you. Just send your mom All right, thank you. Yeah. Color, are you there? Hello? Your name is where you call from? I'm Mohamed Samara. I call you from Atmosphere. Where you call from? Atmosphere, Atmosphere. Who's your preferred choice? I, I would choose Bank Club. And I'm not going to have one. What's your name? I'm not going to have one. What's your name? I'm not going to have one. No, you said you're choosing as a running back. You're right. Okay, why have you not chosen? I, I would support any other person other than and to the Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Your name where you call from? I'm calling from the Deep County. I'm Frank TKK. Okay, who's your preferred choice? You don't be part of Laurie. Why is his not named? She will decide where to, where for her to go. Okay, thank you. The last one, Pia. <laughs> call your name, where you call from? I'm Dean Aziz, you're calling from the Kiana. Okay, who's the preferred candidate? Uh, sorry, I don't become a lawyer. And why is his not name? I won't vote. Thank you. All right, Pia, it's up to you. Call on the long way. Yeah, um, I'm Galo Galo from this man, North Dakota. Your choice? The only Kanga Lawrence. If Waga doesn't pick her? 100%. I still support Waga. My family and I. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Call her on the line. Hey, my name is Danny and I'm a call from Minneapolis. Yes, sir. Um, my preferred one is the only Kanga Lawrence. What if Waga does not pick her? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is don't take your two calls. Call out your name and where you calling from? From 
My name is Musu Yape Katolo from North Carolina. Okay, says Musu Gwai. Yombly Kanga Lawrence. Yombly Kanga Lawrence. And if uh Boyga don't pick Yombly. I will still support the party. All right, thank you. One more caller, yeah. Just hold on one second. Steven, can we end it uh, at, a, at a two hour, 30 minute drive, which is eight minutes away? Hello, caller. You need to from? Yeah, I need to calculate the thing so you can be talking while I'm calculating. I'm letting the number here. I call from Pennsylvania. Hey, hold on, hold on. Caller, your name again? My name is Sam Mullenberg. I call from Pennsylvania. Okay, who do you support for running mate? I support Henry Pedro Costa. And if Boyka don't pick Costa? My man, I support uh, as the person people are supporting. I will need uh, even Joseph Baka. Even hey, my, my man, hey, I just asked you if hey, okay, thank you. Oh, chief, thank you. All right, guys, yeah, let, 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 let any day. Tell me, I come by all set. Let, let any day. Uh, um, let me have a conversation. Uh, here. We can, we can compare notes. I got the numbers here too. If, if you don't mind, the conversation while I do the math behind the scene here. But wait, and Pia. Piao, sir. Why you were time my man Daniel? You say the man phone is only is only accredited to the Basel capital. You know, you know the PR man. You guys, 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 the both of you both were attacked by George Nubula. Why you? Why you want to talk about don't escape? George Nubula say you say you claustrophobic. Therefore, we do not allow you to take call. Hold on, George. George Nubula say that. John yeah, Nubo John, John said the man said he cost a phobic, and then he said you working in your me office, so we should not allow people you to take off. No, but like, John, that, John, no, it's simple. That is not simple. John, John Nubo Nubo said that you don't full to take off. Ain't in Liberia. Yeah, simple. If I it's John Nubo, if John Nibo is interested, you got my full right here. People calling for Nima. No, not Nubo, not Lobo, not John Nibo. Just Nibo, John Nibo. John Nibo, Nibo, Oh, John Nibo. Yeah. I would John Nubo say I am claustrophobic. I, 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 I don't think you're listening to me now the only show. And I'm not going to, I'm not even going to get a, 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 a statement. Yeah, 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 please, now, I'm not taking calls again. I've got my phone back there loaded. Yeah, 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 uh, you know, it's not possible to take all the calls. We can take everybody, so that's where we stop. Uh, sorry that you didn't go through. Let 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 do the the conclusion on account of those who called. Uh, maybe next time you will be lucky if we if we should have some more. That is but, all no uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> For now, the calls the calls are done. The calls are done. The calls are done. If you listening, if you listen to the show, don't Daniel, you are, you questioning my, are you questioning my credibility to release numbers? <laughs> I, I'm I'm one young person who holds myself to high integrity, okay? No, 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 absolutely not. <laughs> if I release numbers here yeah, to yourself and only yourself, it can be true. And you know what I want also to do? Let's still enjoy the the last person to announce a number. I will tell you why I got it. Say you won't question my credibility. But I'm not questioning your credibility. I said, what kind of number you got? So, so, so here, is, here is what you can do. Right. If you got your numbers, we can I get provisional ask. numbers. Let me get provisional numbers. Yeah, you, you give your provisional number in the chat here. We got a chat, live chat while we're on the show. Put your okay, provisional yeah, number there. Only Steven is authorized to announce the fundings of the pool. So you put your number in the chat. Now we all look at that. Yeah. Why are we talking about my wife? Why are we talking? <laughs> yeah. I think I got my number. Let me post my provisional results. At least Daniel can smile small. Oh, that means you're confessing already. Are you saying Daniel Kennedy won? Oh, the, the numbers are empirical. I mean, from the point, <laughs> she's in the lead. <laughs> you know, I can. So next time we're not you, Daniel phone, we're not you your phone because two of you are nobly phobic and claustrophobic. 
<laughs> don't mind me. I'm not going to add it to me using. If I say you use a word, you say you say you, you're claustrophobic. We are because of phobic. Those are people you, who are because of phobic are people you, who fear cluster. Didn't you say that? No, I never said that at any point in time. I, I why, said, you, why you didn't challenge you when you were saying it? It's because you, you know, said people, you. One thing about people, let me tell you something. I don't waste time when we when we're on these kinds of platform when we're speaking. People must do the, the honor on their part and listen to us. I'm saying I, those who genuinely criticize Costa will respect their opinion. But those who are Costa phobic will care less about them. Oh, okay. John Noble yeah. said what you're saying is that you say uh -huh. you consider those who don't support Costa as Costa phobic. You said that what yeah. you say. You get text me. The fear oh, I, 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 I think I got, I got the numbers here now. The fear him to their belly. Yeah, then let's conclude and talk about it briefly. So, so we can bring Dylan to talk about the rehab center goal club. I think I got my, I got my numbers there. Let's stay very, very far. All I play the call, we're taking it at the number you get here. No, my number different from your number. Yeah, All but right. the, even just by looking at it, it's not true. The calls were too many. So, uh, let me, we, we got a total of 102 calls. Hello? Yeah, we listen to you. Yeah, we got a total of 102 callers. 102 callers. So, we'll add like the election convention. We'll start with the proposition B first. So, the first question was, and the question was whether or not if Waka chooses your preferred candidate, whether you will still vote for him. Uh, 72 persons said yes. Uh, five yeah. persons said no. You mean 72 or 10104? No, that's a, that other one. There are a lot of people who didn't answer. So I just talking about the yes, people who voted yes. Okay. So 72 person voted yes. Uh four said no. Uh 19 said they are undecided, meaning they will follow which way the political leader will go. And one guy said he would not vote, but he will vote for CDC. So there was one guy who said he would not vote. Well, he will go to CDC if if if, if his candidate was not selected. Now on the real on the other elections, there was I come one minute before you go there. There were two people in that category. One person from Basel said he will not vote at all. So and I didn't vote. I, I, I kind of has no vote. Now I went on five. Oh okay. So that right. that, that particular guy specified who he will vote for. That was selected out. Okay. Well. Yeah. So. There were a total of 102 colors, uh, specifically drawn from Ganta, Ikena, Monserrado, USA, uh, one person from Rwanda, two persons from Australia, two persons from River G, Maryland, one, River Sess, and Cape Mount County. So those are the counties that the calls came from, um, counties and countries. Uh, we had a total of 102 colors. Uh, Henry Costa got uh, 20. Henry Costa got 20 votes. Uh, Jeremiah Kuhn got 28. Jeremiah Kuhn got 28. And Yombi got 54. Yombi got 54 votes. So a total of 102 colors. Uh, Yombi 54. Kuhn 28. And Costa 20 votes. The areas the vote came from were Ganta, Picana, Monserrado, USA, Rwanda, Australia, River G, Maryland, River Sess, and Grand Cape Mount County. So, come on. So yeah, so that's the that's your results for tonight. Uh, a total of one hundred and two colors, twenty for Henry Costa, twenty eight for Senator Kuhn, and fifty four for Senator Yombli Kanga Lawrence. And uh, yeah, and one caller call from Nigeria. A caller call from Nigeria. Yeah, that's fair enough, Stevie. That's a fair. That's a fair number breakdown. Yeah. So you there we have to, it. You uh, wanted to talk briefly. Result. You wanted to talk briefly about the outcome. Yeah, yeah there, there are lots of observation. We can talk about that. Yeah, we because there are lots of observations. There are real observations. Yeah, there are lots of observations. So. Yeah, lots of observations. I, I, I noticed. And, and one person, there are two persons for Taiwan Gonglu. I'm sorry. Please add it. There are two persons for Taiwan Gonglu.
So they have 104. 104 total calls. Two persons there for Taiwan Gonglo. So 104 total calls. Uh, 204, 104 total calls. Two for Taiwan Gonglo. 20 Costa. 28 Kun. 54 Yumbly. There are lots of observations, and if you pay attention to the to the calls and where they were coming from, uh, we noticed that uh, most of Kun vote came from Nimba County, uh, just as much as most of uh, Senator Kanga's vote came from Basel. Another interesting trend from Basel was that uh, most of the caller who said they would decide on where they would vote in case their political leader were not was not chosen uh, came from from people who most likely will vote Yombly, who support Yombly as VP. They most likely say that uh, if she's not chosen, chosen she they won't they will decide whichever way she goes. Um, and one person who voted for Kuhn. Who said they will vote for Kuhn, but if Kuhn was not chosen, they would support uh, uh, the ruling party. One person, 72 person said, no matter what, if JMB carries anybody, JMB takes Steven Johnson tomorrow morning, they will still vote for Steven. And 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 and, and that's it. And so, guys, what's your what when you look at the results, you see the trend um, of the things yeah. we, we've had here over the last five, six different results. It's the, it's the consistency. You see. All of the opinion polls conducted yes, and the Kanga Lawrence has won all of those polls. Um, we're seeing trends. We're seeing trends. I see Henry Costa made a very significant leap compared to the last one where he was below five. This one he he, he moved about 15 places to 20. Interestingly, most of uh, most of uh, Costa calls came from the US, about five or six of them came from Monrovia. Uh, Jeremiah Kuhn calls, most of it came from Ganta, most of it Ganta, except for a, a, a few that came from from scattered areas. Uh, just as Senator Kanga, most of our supporters came from, from Grand Basel County and a few scattered across the U.S. and, uh, and, and other parts, a few folks. So those are your numbers. You hear it, your take, guys. So let me start. Uh... The, the, the first good news is that a good majority of the Liberian people through their sample space see Joseph Waka as their leader with no string attached. That's 72 voters who say it doesn't matter who Joseph Waka running mate is, they are with Joseph Waka. If you look at the 104 color, that constitutes almost 75% of the participants, uh, which is very good. It's a very good sign that. 75% of people participating in the pool, they don't care who the running mate is. So they are with they are with Bwaka with no special interest. They are with Bwaka with no strange attack, which is good. And then 19, like you said, say wherever their political leader goes, that where they will go. Now here's my observation about that 19 group of people. Those 19 persons perhaps may, go, may be among the people who may be bashing at Weah and his government, maybe the loudest. They believe Weah is a bad president. They believe the Weah government has failed. Uh, they believe nothing has come from other Weah. But the exception that if their political leader is not chosen, wherever the political leader goes, then they will go. It says two things. One, they don't have a thought process of themselves. Two, that their criticism of CDC may not be genuine because, but those statements, what if the political leader, and I trust my sister, she's not going to do that, but what if the political leader went to CDC? Because you said, wherever the political leader goes, that's where you will go. So it means if he goes to CDC, you will go to CDC. Is that not so, Darlington and Daniel? So how can you be saying, we are has failed, we are is this, we are that, the country that, you know, but, if your political leader is not the one chosen to be the running mate, wherever she goes, that way you will go. So hypothetically, I'm saying, if that political leader goes to CDC, though they've been criticized and they believe there's nothing or we are, we are damaged Liberia, they will go there. And is your own mouth saying it because they didn't say, if you say anywhere she goes beyond CDC, I will go there, there's a different thing. But we say anywhere she goes, that way I will go, meaning if she even go to CDC, you will go there. So those group of people, for them, is maybe followership or just, just interest. So for example, we were doing a show, I'm on record, and I say that consistently, I support normally. 
Mais je sais pas que tu es un homme qui est 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 You know, um, what does it say? It's something to be considered. I mean, those are my initial thoughts. Let's give it up for a chance because we got to talk about uh, the senators' uh, rehab center. So let me stop it there. Thank you, Pia. Thank you. Guys, if you have anything to say, well, let, let, me, let, me, let, me just, let me just let me just start from where Pia stopped because I, I don't think those are... Those 19 callers who said, uh, first of all, the overall, the overall, my overall perspective of the, the survey is good. Uh, one thing it tells me is that JMB commands overwhelming support across across the country. And I, you can see that by the way people are matriculating towards him. But there are key observations from the polls. And I, I would like to differ a bit with Pia because I do not think that the 19 callers explicitly stated that they will go CDC if JMB doesn't choose their running, I mean, their choice of Kennedy. They say they will they will do whatever their political leader advised them to do. Yeah, they will decide and on where they go. When you when you I mean the, every uh, politician is let me correct you before you go further. I didn't say they said explicitly they will go to CDC. It was an analogy I'm saying. No, that is saying. Yeah, they said they will follow well, you, 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 you are going to impute motive. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. In that motive, it's clear. They said, I will, if I said that, I will follow you wherever you go. There's no exception. So I wouldn't okay, say. What if you said I will go to CDC, will follow? Yeah, I wouldn't say. A CDC, 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 the question we're asking now, a CDC, they wouldn't wait. pay to go? Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. <laughs> I <laughs> meant to speak. You spoke. I'm speaking. Why are you going to give me a chance? No, you meant to me. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I didn't say you have to make a chance. No, no, let me correct you first. I have the right to correct you because you're quoting me. I didn't say those people say explicitly to go to CDC. At the same time, they say wherever their, 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 their leader goes. I'm saying that wherever also means if the leader goes to and I, I, I call CDC mean for a purpose because all of us who are in opposition, we have said CDC have failed, CDC have done bad to the country. So I intentionally call that name because if you say anywhere the person goes, meaning there's no exception, the person go to city that where you go. The, the, the first thing we have to we have to respect the rights of others to decide. You see what we said on the show and said JMB has a right to decide his running mate, and whoever he chooses will support. Others have the right to decide. So why we analyze him for now? We just so no, so, why we analyze him? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you can't get in the wrong thing. No, but I'm not saying nobody said they respect their right. So why we analyze him for? No, but yeah, you can't keep in the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm saying that the pools show something very progressive, very attractive for JMB, but we we have to be mindful how we address the issue of the 19 colors. Who said that if he doesn't do this, we're gonna go for me? That's the most critical segment of the population that he should go after. Because these are people who, who come with their own issues. Like I was saying, every politics is local. Most of the people who said that if he doesn't name this person, would do otherwise, they have their own reason for saying that. And I cannot sit here and begin to formulate my own opinion about them. They have their own reason. Okay. So all we can say is that let our decision as we as JMB edges the war making it make, making his, his choice of running mate, his decision should also be should also be able to capture what people are thinking. What people are thinking. Yes, it is good. We are trying to popularize all the VP choices for him. He now has an option. But we cannot overlook what the callers are saying. Because if I was to do the survey, the most catchy point for me would be the 19 person who said, if he doesn't do this, I will do this. How do we address their concern? Would be key for me. And not to say that they will go CDC. Because from somebody who say, I will go where all my political leader goes. If my political leader decide to stay out of the race, to say we're not supporting anybody, that's their own decision. CDC cannot be the only option for anybody. Beyond Ambassador Boyka, there are other people who are contesting the election. Okay? 
Even though we see we are as a common enemy, I do not believe that anybody who called to say I'm supporting GMB will automatically somersault to say I'm supporting Jogia tomorrow. That's the reason why from the 100 plus quarter you told here, only one person said, if he doesn't do this, I will go to support Jogia. That tells you that Jogia is off the picture for many of the quarters. Okay? So for me, I think the measure of CDC was not a good thing. And we have to respect their opinion. And we also have to figure out how do we address some of the issues that they have with the choice that GMB is going to make. Thank you. You see, Stephen, when we come to this kind, these kinds of conversation, we need to be realistic and take off our partisan garment or political attachment where we come from. We are educated people here. When colors speak, we listen to them. Vast majority of the undecided colors, the 19 said explicitly, wherever Senator Yombli Kanga Lauren goes is where they will go. If you tell Malaysia wherever, one can infer that even if Yombli supports the CDC, one will also support it. They will also follow her and support the CDC. They say wherever. They didn't say it, but we should go to the CDC, we will not support. They were very clear. They said wherever the political leader decides, we will follow. And we know the culture of Liberian politics. Our people, when the Liberian mentor is there, wherever my political leader decides that we are going, they clear about that. Meaning, they, 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 they report that confidence in decision making in their political leaders. And to the numbers, it's very interesting how Senator Yombri Kanga Lawrence is scooping, you know, most of the opinion pool. And I want to salute her on that for that. I think yeah, I see she, she managed to pull over 50 votes. That is welcoming, and especially coming across from, you know, vast majority of our supporters come from Nimba, people who uh, from Basel who called. And Senator Kuhn also pulling through with votes from uh, from Nimba County, and most of his people obviously from Nimba County support Jeremiah Kuhn. And Mr. Henry Costa also managed to pull through, you know, 20 votes, you know, squarely from the United States of America. And I think these debates are welcoming. Uh, it tells us that uh, the people from public perception, they are more keeping their eyes on the JMB Yombly ticket. The ultimate decision is there for Bueka to make. I personally don't support, you know, JMB and Yombly ticket. I support JMB and Henry Costa. And I want to be clear here on record. No, no, no. I, I don't miss my words. And I speak clearly. And my words don't hold me back. If Joseph Bueka don't pick Mr. Henry Costa, one person who has been with us in this opposition struggle has been Sister Yombli Kanga Lawrence. I will have no problem supporting Joseph Boyga Beige if he picks Sister Yombli Kanga Lawrence. But to pick Jeremiah Kuhn, who has been in the House of Rep in the House of Senate, in all kind of political talidouma, if you may, then some of us will have a roller coaster ride and we we'll have to reassess our support and look at Mr. Boyga from a more optical lenses. I think Sister Yombe Kanga has been with us here in this struggle. So, you know, just my perspective and independent. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Director. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Those, thank are you. Very, thank those are very great perspectives. You, yeah, those you, are good perspectives. You, you remove your political gamut and let Daniel, who was driving in, yeah. political gamut yeah. is in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> supporting JB because of the values that he has called for, right? And, and right. I do believe that those values should also be reflected in his Absolutely. choice of running mate. Absolutely. I do believe so. I mean, it, it, and, it and, can't Daniel, and, that's, and, and Daniel, that's a fair, that's a very fair argument to make. And, 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 I, and I support that argument 110%. Now, I think where a lot of people tend to have problems is where 
the the you they try to when you when somebody tries for instance to to tie that support to to an ultimatum you know that's why a lot of people tend to to sway off when you tie that support to an ultimatum that okay if if Donald will not pick me then I will have to decide so you you, you therefore get now I think and that's the point PR was coming for is when you look at the global picture, when you look at the entire election from a 10,000 year view, the, the bottom line here is for us to change where. That's the bottom line. Very good. Whoso, whosoever will be the candidate that can effectuate that change is somebody I will support. For instance, let's assume that Waka goes to the election and he does not make it to the second round, which is a possibility. And that's the next question some of us will, 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 will eventually will ask here. Yeah, will, will, will it still be about us changing George Rea? Will it be opposition unity? Is it that we're rallying the Liberian versus the CDC? Or is it just that we, we, we're in this because we have our own interests and that once those interests are not sought and they are not uh, uh, given to us, then we pull out. Then no, it has never been. It has never know, been. Yes, no, I mean, those are, those are things. So, yeah, that let me get come in. Let me color, what I see in the 19 color is, is, is I, don't, I don't disagree with them. What I think they're saying essentially is they, their political leader will decide their next course of action, which is the wise thing to say. Because if, you, if you're a party person, if you're a party ideologue, you take direction from your political leader. Now, P, I want to stretch it a little further to say if you're saying anywhere, Let's assume it's the CDC. Then it means fundamentally, you didn't have issue with the CDC. You just have issue. You just were supporting because you but had. The question, the question comes back. The question comes back to 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 to, to the, the, the the subject himself. If it has if it has always been about CDC, why are we even heading in the direction we're talking about here? So I do believe there are many variables. What the, what, the, what direction are you heading? <laughs> no, I'm coming. We're having a we're having a conversation. We're having a direction. We should tell us what the direction you're heading. We're having an open conversation, Pia. No, no. tell us yeah. the direction you're heading. We're having a man. We're having a man. Dana Sanoba. You see, so the problem is the problem is we 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 have been very we have been very respective. Uh, uh, Daniel is of okay. Ise when other people need come out in a running mate issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and that is the point. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting your point. That, I think that is wrong. You're not getting your point, Pierre. You're not the getting your point. Issue. And you have to stop this, Pierre. The running mate is not the running mate. I'm not being easy about anything here. I'm not saying, I'm not saying the value system, the value system upon which we have rallied around JMB, I do not anticipate. That he would disengage for such system to go name somebody who doesn't represent the value system. That's what I'm saying. My and man. there are many who share the view. Who are Daniel, let, 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 you know, 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 let, I'm not pretending. Yeah. Why are we? Why are we? Why are we giving police and people? That are no, listed for JB running me. We call it. 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 We are supporting JMB for the presidency and people in the United Party should start to put up the kind of lazy. My man, the day the news broke here about my man Costa considering a burger considering all I see people doing here, you very dismissive. My man, the way that my man that day, yeah. We didn't like we didn't like I just have to have today, yeah, do me. What we did was Daniel, the Daniel, Daniel, you bet on slip and slow too out. You want to go the last time. Exactly. You want to slip and slow. Somebody will even call, call Stephen Nee. They will call my name. You can't even call. You want to slip and slow. Well, I didn't even, I didn't even call anybody in the evening. I just said, I just said, well, we spoke to Stephen Nee because he said people try to make it appear like an ultimatum. I said, nobody's giving ultimatum. I do believe. I already said, Daniel, you must say, in a difficult spot to decide. You know what the color said? You're not, you're not, you're not pay attention to no, us. You're, 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 you
I will not. Want to, that not want to defend the fact that nothing of his people said anywhere and anywhere could include CDC, and you don't want to talk about that. <laughs> you mean there's only when you do that. <laughs> Yeah, we have a we have a common enemy in the race. And that common enemy yeah, is George. My man, my man, Dana the man, official all the party. I'm not. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be the senator to come back. Let, let him talk about the. Um, the senator, Dana, uh, waiting for you, Chief. Senator, Dana, if you're listening, just please join us. Uh, we're having it. It's, and please come. It's important to have this conversation. When I this. get your opinion on the topic, Chief. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Why, 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 senator, senator, no, that is the main reason why you stay away. So on this issue, you're not coming to discuss the rehab center. Now, you're coming to discuss the rehab. Senator, got to keep quiet on it. The senator, I've taken his crack, David. They may want to hear that conversation. <laughs> may have walked away. Turn it up, tell them if you're listening, please, please rejoin us. We thank you. Um, if you may have taken us back, David. Uh, so let's announce here that uh, the the rehab center that uh, Senator Dillon had promised uh, during his campaign in uh, in 2020, um, his focus as a senator had been on fighting uh, mental health and drug addiction. He has some pictures. Did you get those pictures? No. Um, mental health and I'll post it on the class uh, page. I'll post it on the class. Uh, mental health and drug addiction. Uh, the, the, the rehabilitation center opens officially tomorrow. Uh, you are all invited. If you're in Liberia and you want to attend, you're invited. I'll share the detail on the class on, on the on the on the reloaders uh, class reloaders page. If you're in Monrovia and you want to attend, kindly make it your business to um uh 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 uh. uh um, attend the program. Um, it's, it's in the best interest of our country. It's in the best interest of our young people. It's something geared towards fighting uh, mental health and uh, drug addiction in, 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 in Liberia, specifically Monserrato. So, Senator, if you're listening, uh, kindly rejoin us so that we can we can conclude on this matter. Um, give us the time where the event will take place, uh, where the rehab center is located. Um, and, 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 and how early or how soon is the program tomorrow? Um, guys, it's, it's been an interesting uh, discussion. And I think uh, this is why we come here every now and then, uh, three times a week, so that we can spark these conversations. Provocative. These, provocative yeah, talk, yeah, that's why on the class page we say talk provocative, talk provocative thought-provoking arguments. So these arguments are good for our politics. These analysis about the rationale beyond numbers and what the numbers say are important. In, 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 in data mining and statistics, we say, uh, uh, we say number, we say data is the new oil. <laughs> Don't drill for oil, drill data. You'll get what you're looking for. And, and, and men lie. They say men lie, women lie, but the numbers don't lie. It is those who interpret numbers that lie, but numbers by themselves don't lie. One plus one will always be two. Two plus two will always be four. And that's no matter. Now it is the worst that switch towards that, that, that in turn is steering. Mm -hmm. My political decisions cannot be influenced by anybody. And the record is there to show. In 2017, Stevie, I'm saying this popular, Stevie is here. When everybody in the country believed that Ellen Johnson Sally was not supporting Joseph Walker, I'm not here to go into the mirror whether it was true or false. See what deputy campaign spokesperson. He saw my comportment. I was clear and uncompromising about my support of JMB. I swear that Ellen Johnson Sally was my boss and I respect her. So there was no way in my political decision I can tell anybody say I will do what my political decision won. No. I was supporting Joseph Walker both as an individual and as a member of the United Party. And nobody's disagreement. Then you are visible. You didn't, you didn't do a coffee. The madam, the no, madam stopped in the office to, 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 to get you some coffee and warn you. <laughs> no, no, you know, Danito, and this is serious. Nobody's disappointment, I mean, a disagreement could influence me. And that's the reason why when I hear people like somebody saying, I hear when that happen, then the next thing the political leader decide. If you are reading the voting age and why you are, the decision as to who are the leaders of your country, they are things you'll be able to make for yourself as adults. And I hinge it on what a political leader decides for you. I don't think so. I don't think it's the right thing to do. Because you live your own life. You, 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 you see the consequence of the governance process in the country. Not the, the political leader feel what they feel. You feel what you feel. 
So how can you come and say, if they were not happy, and then we have a political leader or anything the political leader said, what we do? As a groom voter who goes to the land, get your own voting card? You should know why you want, beyond why a political leader wants. And when I met her, I acknowledge her, I, I, look, I respect nobody, I don't believe in, 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 in yeah, you are, yeah, you are simply being too idealistic. Yeah, but idealism is good. There's nothing wrong with that. It got to be. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, even you, Daniel Sando over there, <laughs> I don't believe that you are at a point where you say, if they don't, what they don't decide, what I will do, or what uh, the we can decide, what I will do. The Daniel Sando, I see there, politically fire burn. I see you far beyond that. I don't yet, you are doing things that you protect your institution, but I know you are independent, Daniel. Yeah, you work for an individual, and you got to defend and all those kind of stuff. I'm not in your party. I don't work for her, but I, I'm on record. I say open it, and that's my choice. Somebody else will get fed and say, "Oh, that Basel thing you're doing because you're from Basel." That the person thought, but that's not why it's a inform my opinion. If I own Basel, been I was a Democratic Party member. Democratic Party been around since 2005. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't join them, and I have no intent of joining them for as long as the politics is on in the country. So my decision to say she's my choice. It's not based on anything called trial. Because if it was about trial, they are going to be fighting with Broski White Live to make a pass on their president. So that is it. But, but, but Stephen, we can close because apparently the senator, the, the heat coming from this argument was burning him. He couldn't stand it. He had to leave. So we can be hanging on. About three hours, we got to close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's a good conversation. It's good that uh, we can come here uh, uh, three times a week. To, to argue on, on, on the way forward. And and one of the things I like about this show and our audience is it, it, this show is, is not some of those shows that you can predict how it will go. Uh, many many persons believe here yeah, that we all here yeah, support a single candidate, but at the same time, we disagree on certain things. And tonight clearly shows our different line of uh, thought, even though we support Waka, but at the same time, we have varying views in terms of uh, 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 other issues concerning the whole conundrum of the presidency. But those are things that those are, those are make the show great. That's why we come here three hours a day on Mondays, Wednesday, and Friday to talk about it. Today is Good Friday. It's been a good conversation. It's been a very intriguing conversation. Very, very passionate. Uh, the numbers came in. We were able to conduct it. What, what I work at with, with Stephen is the fact that 75% of the people don't care as to who Joseph Walker going yeah, to make. Yeah, they're different. Yeah, they remain it has no, it, it has no impact on their decision to support Joseph Walker. That's, that's the number one take away from me. Yeah. The number two take away is the other two candidates that came up combined their two votes, 20 and 28, that's 48. Nobody 54. Even if you combine the other two candidates, nobody still more than them. We just consistent with all the polling we've done. That is the positive of what's happening here. And in the midst of all the positive for to tie what you will do tomorrow to what your political leader will say, that's my only negative take away from the whole thing. But those two things are strong positives that I live with. Yeah. 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 Those, are, those, are, those are good interpretation, Pia. Those are good interpretation of the numbers. And, 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 and the good thing also about the numbers of, uh, of people who say they will follow the political leader. One, you know, one person was emphatic. So I'll, say, I'll, vote, I'll go back CDC. Yeah, if you don't support my you know, one person in fact. So it gives room. For, so let's assume also on the other end of it, of it if you didn't select my, 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 my candidate of choice and my candidate of choice decides to stay support JMB, it means they will stay support JMB. That's the positive side to look at it. So let's, let's, when let's, I, let's so take that. When, I, person, when I person say I will go back, how do you interpret I will go back? It means they were there. Yeah. On the other hand, these 19 people from your side who say anywhere, they're not there, but they're just saying, just in case the political leader say that where they're going, they will go there. That yeah, but if the political leader says they will stay. Yeah, that man only say, I will return home. I will be the political son to go back to my people and beg them and say, I'm back with you because I think JMB and go on with an inside. <laughs> so you're not, you're not doing anything strange, you're going home. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you closing up now, Stevie? Yeah, so yeah, Danny Don, let's go. Let, let's go home. Let's wrap us up. Uh, Danny Don, Daniel, and Pia. We've gone three hours already, three hours, yeah. one minute.
So let very, me wrap it very, very, very interesting uh, and, and top provocating conversation on this Friday. Uh, it's very good. It, the takeaway here is that we agree to disagree, and I appreciate the divergence of opinion. You know, just the other day when the news pop up about my man Costa being considered for running mate, my man Daniel Sano. Gave well, what did we say about Costa? My man, boy, give me time, boy. No, 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 my man. My man, my man, close, my man. Daniel, why you want to give one? My man, give me a minute. What did we say about Costa? Chief, give me chance, please. That's close, but man, you see, and, and that is why I, I like the way sometimes the politics can play out. And that's why you must be very careful in as much as you don't support certain elements, be careful how you vilify them in the public clear. Because tomorrow, tomorrow, politically, you could align with them. And I've been around, I may be young, but I've been around this political conversation for quite some time now. I have some, I think, a decade on my belt. Somebody may say, that is how old are you? But from, from high school student leadership, I've been around the politics. The man bastard, my man Costa, yeah, we are considerably if all cars are on the table. And, and Mr. Joseph Boyga decides to pick Yombri Kanga Lawrence. You'll be reaching out to us for our support. And Costa have said repeatedly to members of the public that on the record, he have said that he will contest the Senate. His people of Most Rado County have asked him to contest the Senate. But on the flip side of that, there are also Liberian citizens who have also put forth his name in the VP conversation. He didn't put forth his name. He has said that repeatedly. The decision and the choice for running mate... Which is well within his rights. Yes, it's in his rights. Mr. Boyka to, to decide. But on the record, even if I, Costa had a, a press conference today, you know, when he visited Honorable Yeke Koloba, and he oh, told... Okay. Yeah, he said that... Consider, he said he's in a race for Senate. That's why he has said repeatedly. He's a political man. I think you, it would be unfair for you to, you know, outright, you know, exempt his name from the, the VP conversation. He's a young man that carried about 40 years or so, huge influence in the country. It's up to Mr. Joseph Boyka now to, to decide and talk Mr. Kosa down and say, my son, I think we can work together around this. It's a poli political conversation. There are competing priorities and interests. So the day my man needs something on the internet, oh man, some of my men are from LP. They blow my man. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and, and mind you, tomorrow... I mean, you got one more minute, man. Yeah, in my one more minute, tomorrow, you could just be asking us to roll our sleeves for you. So these conversations are healthier. You know, more conversation as they emerge, you know, will get healthier. And we, we will welcome these kinds of debates. These are critical times and alignment and realignment. But in all that we do, we need to understand that Mr. Weah have plundered state resources for over six years. And let us put our differences aside and ensure that this man does not see the light of day anywhere close to the executive mansion past 2024. We want a new president in the executive mansion. We are clear and unequivocal. We are sending a message to our people in the length and breadth of the Republic of Liberia that let Mr. Weah go and retire somewhere in Monaco and he can sit down in a pool party or chess pool of, of party, whatever. I don't want to call the name and enjoy a social lifestyle. But the presidency is not just the place for him. He have done so much to our country, so much harm and, 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 lo and loss of lives. Today, the family of Charlotte Musu still cry in tears that they cannot bury their daughter because somebody, unscrupulous individual, invaded the premises of the former chief justice and took away the life of one of her daughters. It's wrong. It's all of us country. And you cannot scare men away from their country. We all love our country, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dalida. As they say in politics, they say, Politics uh, makes strange bad fellows. Um, Tanya, your closing argument. <laughs> thank, thank you, Stephen. And I, I think uh, Darinda doesn't know me because I'm not a kind of person who, I'm not a kind of intellectual who believe in tearing down my peers. That's why you see, I carry myself as somebody who is very harmless. I want you to point out one occasion where I ever sat on the platform or even on social media to verify Costa for expressing. No, you, 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 I can vouch for you. You never done that. I didn't do that. I've never done that. I would never do that. Costa has committed no wrong to voice out his intention to be vice president of Boyka. It is his right. He reached a qualification as per the Liberian Constitution. So, so I see, I see nothing wrong with that. But I uh, basically, maybe. I see, I see. Basically, I think we're missing. Don't stay too long. Then going away. 
Yeah. He take the cover. I uh, I do believe that I'm not personally motivated by the the way things are moving in the country. The opposition needs to be motivated. Everywhere around the world, people use the period we're going through right now, the registration process, to motivate their supporters to register. As I speak to you, careful with the up. The country is not motivated. Our supporters are not motivated. Photo registration process is concluding. The lands are empty. The lands are empty. The whole country is on pause, waiting for the man who they're looking up to be president to name his running mate. There's a reason why I asked from the beginning of the pool. I said, why are we conducting the pool? Is it rather important? Because in the end, the decision is to be made by one person who, from all indication, has not made a decision yet. And I think as we move towards the election, wouldn't it be very decisive about some things? In Maserado County, the process come to an end on Sunday. There's no motivation. So we need to maybe, maybe we need to improve on how we are doing things. And we have to say it. We're not saying it because we're disappointed. We're saying it because a lot is at stake for us. I listen to Darrington cataloging the ails of the government that we need to do everything we can to remove job. We are yes, the commitment is there. The will is there. But we, we, we are lacking beyond many fronts, which I think is, 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 is kind of hampering our opportunities. We all have a common goal, simple objective. Let we are be wanting president. The time is not waiting for us. So we are succeeding in breaking CPP apart. Today, many Liberian voters believe opposition is divided. There are some things that could motivate our base as opposition political supporters of party. We haven't done those things. I'm not only talking about running mate issue. The running mate just one aspect. The running mate just one aspect. There are a lot of things that have been done to get the process started. I hope we, I'm hoping that we can do those things. We are willing. We take three hours of our time, three times a week to be here. That's the extent of which we are willing to make sacrifices for the campaign. Uh, I know some of the things we say here, the things we say when I fall on deaf ears, people will listen and begin to take I mean, immediate action to help the process. So, Stevie, again, uh, I, as always, it was good being here. And, uh, we look forward to being here again <laughs> on, on Monday to continue the job that we've done. For us, uh, we cannot give up on the motherland. I know a lot of things are happening. People are disappointed. But the least we can do is to give up in the country. That's why someone like you in the diaspora, you take up your time to come here, host the show, we on the ground, try to motivate our people to do everything we can. We look forward to always being here. And thank you very much. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Pia. The first thing I want to I want to start with uh why we all want Mr. Boaka to be very timely by announcing his running mate, we cannot create the impression that he has been very late by announcing his running mate. We just ended March and we in April. We end April, May. June, July, August, September, October. That's six months away from the elections. In the US where we all are, Joe Biden announced Kamala Harris, his running mate, on August 12th. That was August 12th to September 12th, October 12th, November 4th. Less than three months to the elections less than three months so with nearly six months still standing why it is true we want to encourage the old man to finalize it as quickly as possible it becomes unfair to him when we try to paint a picture that he has been so slow with a and that the country is on pause the people who who who, who are bundling the polling places and, and and that's part of the problem when they don't want to hear the other time that's the same thing he said people are talking about 
extending the time. If you say the polling places are empty, what is there now to tell somebody that is supposed to extend the voter registration time when you have empty polling places? When the polling places are empty, it means that people are just done. If the polling places are overcrowded, then you can say, okay, it appears a lot of people have not registered. Look at the way the place is overcrowded. That push for an extension. So I think JMB, yes, in 2017, I think you were grossly late. As one of his supporters then, I didn't think it was a good job. And I hope that it can be better this time around. But I'll be unfair to him when I try to portray him that as being late six months away from the process. That gave him the chance, that hope he does the right thing. And we have to be careful how we make conclusions. So, for example, there people, because one Jeremiah Kuhn is in the process, somebody saying, look at the direction we're taking. My question to anybody could be, so if your choice is picked, and Jeremiah Cohen, whoever's supposed to be in his tendency, say to hell with that part of it. He said, okay. And that's the reason why I don't think there's going to be anything that threat to say, if you pick the other person, you're going in a bad direction. If you pick the other person, we're not there. There got to be the willingness to respect that Joseph Waka, the statesman, and the spirit's man, will make the right decision. And that we are committed to him and that's more of a reason why I salute those, those 72 persons who really don't care as to who he will conclude on, but that they have resolved to make him president. After all, the country got only one president or another two presidents. Only one person can be president. A vice president can wrestle with the president. Joel didn't understand it. So if you were talking, I would not be packed car. So when she came, she wanted to Alex in her park car, and she know what we are to her Magellan all day to her. She was crying wolf all over the place, playing victim and looking for sympathy. Yeah, you can get two presidents, only one. You vice president, you vice president. Ceremonious. And I'm glad that those 72 persons believe that it's Joseph Walker the one. And whoever he picks as vice president is not going to change their choice of wanting Joseph Walker to be their president. We have to keep this conversation engaging, productive. We got to stop tearing other people down because we think they're in the same competition with us because in the end, when we are chosen, we need them. If Costa is chosen, we need Kuhn, we need Nyombi, we need everybody. If Nyombi is chosen the same way, I believe if Kuhn is chosen, it should be the same way. Because we start tearing each other apart, then it means that anywhere it lands, then the other people got a right to say, I'm not in there. And if that is the case, then how does it help GMB? How does it even consolidate or solidify our pledge to say that GMB will want to be president? So it's just an urge to all of us to try very carefully. Mind you, don't forget, let me remind people, because I was in government. When you are coming towards the election, the government feels that the opposition is trying to do the right thing that will harm them, that will make them not be successful. There's always a commitment and a plot to break it down. So if you think CDC not paying attention, why is nobody talking about when coming Nimi running me or is all about Wagan? CDC paying attention. The particular ticket that they don't want, they will do everything in their power. Somebody told me a story which I have not, I have not been running away yet because of fetish thing and all inside. But do you know that beside money, Darlington and Stephen, beside money and all the things that were spent to break the CPP apart, do you know that Nathaniel Maguire at the time had all the, the zoos and traditional leaders and some funny, funny molly men from all of the country and they were in concussion and doing all kind of chanting and things to your heart 24-7? And that the attack on that CPP was both physical and spiritual because they were worried. And even though that thing broke down, they still know there are options that can beat them. So they stay scared and they prepare to do anything to just put you in disarray. 
So the best way to approach them is for you to be seen, holding together. Not tearing any particular tendency apart. Because as soon as you do that, then you're giving them a chance to sneak in when the opportunity comes. Then they break that other stuff again. Then they have a free ride and win the election. You got six years of the additional six years of the catastrophe you had. So let's be careful, Stephen. Thank you. Those are my closing comments. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Pia. Let me say thanks to um to uh, Darlington, Daniel, um, Jerry, who joined us earlier, to Paul and uh, Pastor Mo. Let me say a big thank you to all of our callers who participated in this conversation. Uh, thanks to Bourgeois Radio FM 98.1, Premium FM 98.1, Radio Tupa FM 89.1, Voice of Lofa FM 99.3, Radio Joy Africa FM 97.5, and of course, Voice of Compa FM 106.5. Uh, this has been another fascinating edition of the program, The Class Reloaded. Uh, we come your way Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday at about now. I uh, would like to say thanks uh, to all of our, our folks in the comment session. Thanks for your comments, your feedback. We appreciate all of the sharing you did. As I learned, we almost a thousand shares, and that is more important. I'd like to thank you all for. Sorry, somebody will call you. Do have yourself a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of the evening and enjoy your weekend. Happy Easter. God bless you all. Uh, for my end, I want to say so long. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. Bye-bye.